Why, hello, my shopties. Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing today? We're hopping right into the game. Um, I'm not even gonna, like, really, uh... <laughs> Crypto Rooney. Hi, Bean. Oh my goodness, it's been nut. so long. Hello. Oh no, not Nut. <laughs> Hello, little Bean. Welcome to the stream. Hello. Um, okay, I just got hydrate from desert. Okay, I could do that. Yummy. Oh, something fell. What fell? Oh, okay. Never mind. It's not important. <laughs> and stretch. Let me see if I can pop my shoulder for you guys. Oh, that one came over. <laughs> that was a good pop. <laughs> um, thank you for the stretch and the hydrate desert. Also, good job on getting first. So proud of you. Um... Why, hello, Suzu. I was talking to you earlier. Hi, I hope you're doing well. What? <laughs> Good job getting second, Bean. Uh, why am I so hot? I don't know. Ask my artist who drew my model art. Um, they did a, a wonderful job. Uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Because uh, he's from the desert. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely a good way to um to 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 answer that question, I think. Uh <laughs> good job, Grizz, on getting third. Shame you didn't get first today. Um I'm glad you're doing well. I'm so glad. Credits. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh you can actually see my credits if you go to my um my uh about section on my page. It's at the bottom of my about. Um, it also gives my specs and stuff. It's under the artwork tab. But yeah, if you're on mobile, all you got to do is minimize the stream, go over to the about tab, and it'll show it off. And uh, if you're on desktop, you don't even have to minimize it. All you got to do is click the about tab on my page. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Bean. I'm gonna eventually turn that into a TTS sound, so that way it's more effective, but, yeah. Um, I think I tried to find this last stream and I couldn't find it. Uh, so we are playing Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, oh, nice. Cool. Okay, uh, so that's what we're doing today. Um, which is a great game. Uh, you're gonna hear me talking a lot about stuff. I gotta remember controls. It's... R f right for s melee, R2, bow, L1 block, circles duck, square is roll. Uh, I don't remember what X does or triangle. I think triangles interact. If you remember correctly. Um, what does Senu say about... Oh, shit. Is there a way in there? I know there's a way into the Sphinx, actually. That's an actual... Actual thing! There's a there's a way into the Sphinx, if you don't know. The end fact. Um... I think it's submerged beneath the sands right now, though. Like, you can't actually go in to the Sphinx properly at this current time. We're only looking at it right now using, uh, sonar, I think. Well, something just died. Um, oh my goodness, thank you for the hug. That's very sweet of you. Um, but yeah, go check out Mire. Um, I don't think they're active. They're not a streamer, I don't think. Uh, but you can find them on Twitter. And their art is so pretty. I love their work. It is amazing. I followed them on Twitter. And I just, sometimes I just stare at their art because it's really, really good. Would, would recommend. 100%. Where am I? Oh, I'm over there. Can I, like, actually find how to get in here? Because that would be kind of cool. 
I bet it's like all the way over here. Probably has something to do with a quest. I would cry. Um. One of one of your favorite uh, Assassin's Creed games? No, I can I can totally see that, Susan. It's a good game. It's a really good game. I love this game so much. Um, I mean, look at my aesthetic. I, <laughs> I think it's obvious why I love this game. <laughs> like, if you don't know why I love this game, um, I'm questioning. Uh, I'm questioning your eyeballs a little bit, a little low key. Um, it's a good game. I've actually beaten it already, but like, I, it's such a long game that I don't remember. <laughs> Like, what happened? Um, I got lost in the sauce while playing this game uh, the first time and, like, totally did not follow, like, at all the plot. It was bad. <laughs> so now I'm following it. Mostly. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fair. Uh, wah. Torch time. Um... Oh, I haven't died in this game yet. I gotta reset my death count. Um, you did shout out the right person, Grizz. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> you're just messing around with my commands, aren't you, Bean? Oh my gosh, Weiss Vulpins? Vulpis? Vulp? 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 I can't say it today. I It sucks because I'm also a Fox VTuber, so I hate that I can't Volpies, there it is. Volpies, hello, Weiss. Thank you uh, for the follow. Hello there, my friend. I hope you've been having a great day in stream so far. I saw you were alive and wanted to pop it and buy and check in. Oh, thank you, Soulstone. Hope you're doing well. Um, how are you doing? You feeling okay? Vibing. I hope you're doing all right. And and thank you for popping in. I appreciate it. I'm trying so hard to keep up with chat. <laughs> Yes, I am past 200. I'm so happy. <laughs> I actually uh, made a made a post about um, hitting 200 followers on on Twitter because I didn't notice. Um, and actually, I I am beyond 200 followers. I've been beyond 200 followers for like a day or two, but Twitch hasn't updated, and I know this because I've been like getting the emails for it. <laughs> and stuff and i've i've actually like there is a way forward my guy it's oh look at all these spiders yeah like dude come on it's <laughs> literally right there there must be a way forward yeah yeah there is what happens if i fall down there i don't i mean i could but i want to explore up here first loot Oh god. Bayek. 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 <laughs> um Damn, Bean, you've been following me for four months? Gosh, it feels like just yesterday that we met, I swear. <laughs> it does not feel like it's been four months. It, it doesn't feel like it's been over a year since I started VTubing. Like it it just doesn't. Like that that is a brain ache right there that I've been VTubing for over a year. That's so much. Um. <laughs> oh, thank you, Soulstone. Thank you, Desert. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, it's it's really big. It's a big deal, I think. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep keep working hard. Keep having a good time. Um. Work is easiest when it's fun, in my opinion. Ooh, pretty hieroglyphs. I could 100% just, like, shout out what this is about. and But I won't. You guys will probably find that boring. Um, oh, this doesn't feel right, but, like, it's fine. We'll, 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 we'll vibe with it. We'll, we'll let it go. We'll let it go. Although, I don't think... Uh, I think this, this is taking a lot of creative liberties, because I don't think anybody's actually been in the Sphinx. We know there's stuff in it. I don't think anyone's ever been in it yet. Oh, this is pretty music. I feel like I'm about to find something. I feel like there is something here. 
the music is definitely helping make that suggestion. What is this? Ah. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Through the mountain. Ah, it's the star room. Yeah, they totally took creative liberties here. <laughs> <laughs> it's the star room i know what this is for also um this is uh so the there's like these star puzzles that i've been tasked with finding and aligning and it's part of the the, the bayek's promise quest so <laughs> that's what this is i know exactly what this is i saw the star map and immediately knew Excuse me. Fun fact, I like making star maps. It's a hobby of mine. Um, Sphinx Passageway. How cool. Um, and then I'll, I'll just come back here for the... The super special... Star map stuff. And I like you. Yeah! Oh yeah, Desert, you've been following me for a while. Um, <laughs> secret and all. <laughs> Bean, thank you so much for the eating salt. I will eat the salt real quick. Um, for anybody who's new here, because uh, I see a lot of new people in the chat. Um, I eat salt because I have pots. So I have my eat salt as a redeem because I forget to eat salt. I have um, their Nervosa version of pots. Which means it's an issue with my nervous system and my adrenaline. And what'll happen is that, sure, when I stand up and whatnot, I do get lightheaded, but I don't pass out. Uh, I get really close. And sometimes if I'm, like, really anxious, I'll just clock out. Uh, but otherwise, it is a issue with my, uh, um, with my little signals in my brain and in my body. And so my body will just misfire. And it'll essentially say, hey, yeah, um... Let's just pump your heart real, real fast because you're in a dangerous situation and I'm not in a dangerous situation. Uh, and it'll cause me to pass out and it'll cause my heart to have a rough time. And it won't be a fun time. Um, so for anybody curious, that's why I have the salt redeem. That's what that is. <laughs> so don't worry about redeeming it. It's, it's not torment. It is kind of like a hydrate for me. So there you go. Salt helps the body communicate. Enjoy. Enjoy that little tidbit. Of knowledge, um, I'm, I am checking, reading up, Volpes, yes, Volpes, Volpes, I, I'm saying Volpes, I know how to say Volpes, but, um, Volpus is another way people say it, uh, Volpus is one I've heard. Than I um, but it is, if I remember correctly, based off uh, I think Volpe's is Latin. If I remember correctly, it is Latin. And, um, yeah, Volpe's. Let's see, what else is being said in chat? What else are you gremlins up to? I'm making it, thank you kindly. So I have to stop by and check out. Oh, oh you're gonna make me blush. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. What else are you doing? Uh, hello, Fast Hunter. I forgot to say hello. Hello. Greetings one and all. <laughs> it is I, the walking anomaly. <laughs> That's okay. We love anomalies here. Um, remember to follow me. <laughs> Sing Kurt Francie. Aw, thank you. Um, socials. I'm sorry. I don't have a socials link. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta set that up too now. You're making me think of all these. Okay, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it down on a note so I can remember. Like you're sending all these commands in, and I'm like, you know what? That would be smart to have those commands. So let me just, let me just write them down so I remember. Eh. I'm trying to grab my pen. Eh. Okay. Oh, this is the wrong pen. Oh well. Um. <laughs> commands. This is a to-do list that I'm. Oh no, pen. Please, please, right. 
Do I have to pick up another pen? Fucking hellfire. All right. Look, look, okay. This is my trusty signature pen right now. Never trust red pens. They, they stop working after like a day. All right. <laughs> I am biased against red pen. All right. So socials was one and credits was another. Two commands that I should probably have enabled. There you go. So basically you gotta be more salty. Yes, I, precisely. I'm not salty enough, apparently. Um, but yeah, salt helps with the chemical signals in my body. It helps um, carry the signals more appropriately because it's an electrolyte. Um, and electrolytes are good for that. That's why you might also hear me hydrate with Gatorade or liquid IV or stuff like that. Um, the crypts get with the program. Fight me. <laughs> we all love a little salt to get through the day. Facts. <laughs> uh, that wasn't a criticism how you said it. I'm just being a shit today because you bit your tongue trying to say it in the first place. It really sucks because foxes are my favorite animal. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Stick it on your forehead. Credits and socials. All right, throw that stinky pen out. <laughs> now I gotta save the pen. I'm gonna soak it in like an alcohol solution so that way uh, the block gets out and I can use it again. Um, but I do have my signature pen, which is a red ballpoint. I actually hate ballpoint pens, um, but I'm trying to use up the pens that I've amassed over the years. Um, so yeah. Here lies the statue of the great Coffre, the glorious, the respected one, under the protection of Ra. Memphis and the great cities adore his face and make great offerings to his Ka. One day, as the sun was high, Prince Tutmos traveled here and rested under its shadow. As he dreamed, the great god spoke to him, Watch me, son, for I am your father. Hora mataket uh, kafre ra'atum. Examine my body, left for ruins like a dying person. The desert that I used to rule now defies me. Before all who live, I will grant you the crown uh, when you have relieved me of my burden. Um story about this who wants some comedic mythology uh that was a rhetorical question you're gonna hear it anyway uh so essentially the story behind the sphinx was that nobody knows who built it originally there is some speculation of to who it built who had built it but it's believed it was one of the original like structures because it predates the pyramids um according to records it predates the pyramids because Kemet kept insane records like it's one of the most intact histories of the ancient world as of Kemet's even though a lot of their documents were destroyed by Roman Catholics who invaded the country but that's besides the point um so nobody knows who exactly built the pyramid not the pyramids the uh sphinx we know exactly who built each pyramid actually um Nobody knows who built the Sphinx exactly, but we do know that the son of Pharaoh, uh, uh, Pharaoh, I believe it was Khafre, um, was wandering around the desert and he was one of three sons and he was actually the middle child. So a lot of people in that situation would never end up becoming pharaoh like they just they, they wouldn't be and what ended up happening was he ended up feeling as though he was being um not good enough for his role despite the fact as a family advisor because that's the, the the role he would have ended up taking had he had things not gone the way they did and um so what ended up happening was he ended up wandering in the desert for a while and as he wandered in the desert, he grew tired and weary. He was on a hunting trip and he decided to sit under the shade of something. Uh, what it was, he didn't know because it was so buried by the sand and he fell asleep. And by the time he woke up, there was something looming over him and it spoke to him and it was the God of the Sphinx. And the, the God said, hey, beneath these, these sands is my body. Please dig me out and repair me and I will give you the crown of Pharaoh and that's what he did and lo and behold he ended up becoming pharaoh uh so that's the story and that's what's uh carved upon the tablet in the front and so there's a fun fact for you nobody knows who actually built the original sphinx we only know who repaired it oh uh, are you pyramiding oh are you gonna build a pyramid bean <laughs> Oh shit, I was supposed to make an emoji. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, is Bean gonna do it? Is nobody gonna stop Bean? Ah! Ah! Pyramid! <laughs> you got a combo. You didn't get a pyramid, though. <laughs> Oh uh, no, rip. <laughs> Does it really trust you? Uh if you need a refresher on Egyptian history, I'll just I'll just give it to you. I'll just I'll just <laughs> be salty prep. <laughs> um Okay, more salt. I can eat more salt. Um my favorite animal and the only one I identify with the most is a capybara. I love capybaras. They're adorable. Capybaras are amazing. Um, I thought you just said you didn't like red pens. You lie. No, I hate red pens. I just don't want to waste them. I have a lot of them. My favorite animals, wolves. Wolves are great. Um, they're so sweet. Um, and also really nice. Uh, I can vibe with the wolf. Wolf favorite. <laughs> That they found graffiti in at least one of the pyramids. They did, in fact, find graffiti in, the, in one of the pyramids. I think it was um, Kafre. Kafre's pyramid. Uh, I give up. <laughs> Go ahead, Bean. I will pass it up this time. <laughs> I might. I might mess it up. Trust broken. Oh. I got smacked. on what? What happened? My notes. I'm a geographer. Cortesius, nice to meet you. Looks like we were attacked. They emptied my pockets. Took my notes too. You might want to check your pouch. You too? I should have known better than to travel the desert on my own. I'm going to find those thieves. They ought to pray to all their gods that my notes are undamaged. Damn. Be enough to be alive. What do you remember? Remember? I was clubbed in the head. I only recall the sound of a horse galloping away. There might be tracks. Stay here. I just noticed Bayek has like gold eyes. You cannot be serious. <laughs> Do I actually have I actually lost all my money from that? Excuse me. Um, I did not. I still have 4,000 4, gold. <laughs> you can't stop me. I'm too rich for you. Uh, who wants to raid a pyramid? I do. Let's go raid a pyramid together, guys. <laughs> Nox, I'm sensitive by it. <laughs> for me. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I mean, at least it wasn't Grizz this time. <laughs> I'll rip the bean. Rest in peace, bean. <clears throat> I, okay, I wonder... So, like, there's, there's gold at the top of the pyramids. Fun fact. there. Well, well, there was gold at the top of the pyramids. There's not gold on there anymore. But there was gold on top of the pyramids. But I, we don't know when it was stolen. So, like, I have to wonder <laughs> when was the, the gold stolen off the top of the pyramids? Because this is, this is taking place, this, this game is taking place. Uh, during Cleopatra's rise to power. Um, so I have to wonder if the gold on the pyramids lasted that long. Because <laughs> I feel like it wouldn't have. I feel like it wouldn't have lasted that long. I feel like it would have been taken by that point. Hit me a horse. Wham.
Oh, oh shit. I almost launched myself off a of dune. Uh, my sense of humor is dark mixed with dad jokes and sarcasm. I apologize. No, that's perfect. This is an 18 plus stream. You are totally welcome to make dark jokes. Uh, that totally, totally fine by me. I don't care. <laughs> uh, if you want to see fucked up jokes, uh, come to our Kirby streams. That's all. Grizz knows all about how bad our Kirby streams get. My the Kirby streams are the reasons why I can't confidently call myself a say so VTuber. Like I'm not a lewd tuber, but I, I'm I'm not say so anymore. I tried, I tried, and then Grizz came into my life. <laughs> and at that point, it was all down here. A reminder: you could squeeze through this crack. Yeah. Wow, you don't say. What? Why are you lit? This feels like the start of a horror movie. That doesn't look stable. What? Why is this lit? Who lit this? Who lit this? <laughs> Who lit everything here? I do not have a miraculous power to light fires that are not right next to me. So who the fuck lit the, these fires? Sometimes I feel like somebody's watching me. All right. What does this lead to? This door is going to lead to something dangerous. There's no way to here. Oh my... Bayek. 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 You are a fool. You can burn it down. This door has been rigged with something dangerous. Yeah? Yeah, it doesn't look that dangerous. It looks like something you can just hack to pieces. Sometimes video game characters are dumb as a box of rocks. <laughs> All right, through the hole. You're deadly serious about Kirbitties? Fuck off! I don't want to hear about Kirby's titties, thank you. Uh, they're not titties either. They're just they're just his little hands. <laughs> Sometimes a crack in the wall ain't a good sign. They might not more sense to buy it. <laughs> Probably. He might need that in order to figure out how to rip apart that that wall. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to to haunt Jay with that on Saturday. Uh, those aren't jokes. What is it, jokes? The 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 Kirby thing? Because if you, if the, those aren't jokes, I'm fearing for your health. But then again, you also did send me that art of hornet, so. What fucking tight and narrow space? Why is it so dusty in here? I can barely see. What? Bayek. Bayek. Light the... Light the... Light it. Thank you. Make this easier on all of us. Currently watching the stream as I'm preparing to cook dinner. Ooh, what do you have in? That sounds delicious. Kerbities is one of my favorite words right now. It shouldn't be. It it should not be. Don't play. I've seen your closet. You have seen my closet. <laughs> hey, but you didn't you didn't see 
that's the dark parts of my closet. That's all that matters. <laughs> there is a commoner called Jetty Roll who lives in Jet Sneferu, a commoner, 110 years old. Damn. Who eats 500 loaves of bread? Oh, I know what this is from! Who eats 500 loaves of bread, a shoulder of beef for meat, and drinks 100 jars of beer? Up to this day, he knows how to mend a severed head. He knows how to make a lion walk behind him with its leash on the ground. He knows the number of the chambers of the sanctuary of Toth. I know what this is. That's from a legend. It's a very silly legend. It's a very, very silly legend. Insanely silly. Super duper silly. An absolute joke of a legend. That's a coffin. I, you were gonna eat some what? Don't say no. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't eat kerbibby. Ker 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 Their hands, not titties, damn it. Okay. <laughs> That's the end of it. <laughs> they're his little nubs, and they're not titties. <laughs> Hell yeah. The unwary who unleashed the desert sands we swallowed into the arid depths. Arid depths. Arid? Arid. Arid. <laughs> the arid depths. <laughs> Can you tell reading is not my strong suit? Even though I love reading. <laughs> huh. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, what I? Oh, look! We're in the tomb! Whoa. Falls. Cooking a family recipe on spicy pasta with spicy tomato sauce with a taste of paprika. Oh, that sounds so fucking good. Does he grab things with them? Yes, he does. He does, in fact, grab things with them. Although when he is a stare, he struggles to pick things up. Uh, right? That pasta does sound really good. Or do they just bounce around? No, he picks things up with them. <laughs> he does. Uh, he does, in fact, pick stuff up with them. My cat is crawling on my chair. Sekem, what are you doing? You're being a menace again. And stare- yeah, he just can't move his arms down that way to pick shit up! It's not like he can- he can bend over <laughs> in that form. Sure, okay, Stephens. I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna meet you up at, uh, out behind a Denny's. We're gonna. I'm gonna square up with you in a Waffle House parking lot. That's what I'm gonna do. I have a single ability point. Can I? Thank you. Wait, which song? Which song? I'm worried about what song you want to send me. I'm just trapped down here. There's like no way up, no way down. Aha! 
I feel like when I first played this game, I got stuck there and I had no clue how to get out. <laughs> that feels like something I would do on my first playthrough. <laughs> and then it would take me like forever to actually get out of here. Dude, he just rolled over that. That was so extra. My guy. My home slice bread slice. Why did you do that? <laughs> May it be known that Cade work on work Ooh, that was me cracking my neck. Oh, that felt good. Uh may it be known that Cade worked on this great edifice until he died. He was a stonemason. Oh, good for him. Good for him. There's a light. I see a light. Never mind. I guess there's no light. Bayek just running head first into spiders. Isn't he? Oh, Did I just- I did. I- I went- I went from here all the way out of here. <laughs> There's a song called Denny's. I sent it to you so you can listen to it when I have time. I probably will. I- I probably will after a stream from Fast Nerds <laughs> Dirty Mind. I mean, yeah, probably. Um, I do like Irish drinking type songs. Those are amazing. Um, I- I, I wouldn't call that a bad British accent. I don't even know if I was, I, cause like a British accent suggests that I was intending to do an accent at all <laughs> when I was not. <laughs> I was just trying to do a silly voice. I'm sorry if it sounded Brit British. Hello, strange. How are you? I can do a bad British accent if you want. <laughs> would you, is this a request for me to do a bad British accent? <laughs> I will do it. Why am I? I, I don't. Can I? No. Nope. Put that away, by us. Thank you. Aha! Papyrus. Eastern Cemetery Mastaba. I see. Me too, buddy. Me too. Where? That's not right. How about yeah? And I go yeah. Wah. Wah. Stone fungus in Giza, three pyramids stand tall. From the top of the smaller one, you can see quite a lot. Even two mushroom rocks, the smaller of which I lay atop of. That would be easy to solve, but I don't feel like solving it. <laughs> Money. Give. Who is leaving these papyrus puzzles? Who is doing this? Like who, whomst? Must. <laughs> Just like grab them. All right, well, that, that's that one. Um, let's go. So I haven't found that. Excuse me. I need to stop burping. Can I not burp, please? Thank you. Wah.
Let's go this way. Khufu Temple Hideout. Ooh, this seems like a fun place to raid. The music? <laughs> that humored me and I don't know why. Uh, um... Anybody else here? I don't see anybody else. Oh, I'm in combat now. Whoopsie! That didn't go according to plan. Whoopsie. Um, I would leave puzzles if I could, but they'd be dirty in grammar. Yeah, they would be dirty because they'd be in the sand. Duh. Obviously. You know? Like, it's the way of the land. Hopping up. Must be careful. This guy will never piss again. Nice! Nice. Look at that. Look at us go. I think we got them all. I think they're all dead. I think they're gone. Give me your shit, thank you. You there? Is that a magi badge? The gods are smiling. You are a true hero. Shut up. Keep quiet. Head down. All right. What do you want? <laughs> you recover quick. Now, how about we loot some tools? Have I helped another criminal of Egypt? Oh, that is right. You are a Medjai. No, not a criminal. I'm an opportunist. Uh, that sounds like a criminal, but with a fancy title. What did you dig up this time? It sure caught the eyes of those bandits. A ring of unparalleled beauty. As you can see, everyone wants it. Those bandits dragged me around trying to find it. Me? 
I just watch what it is worth. You think I enjoy being a scavenger? Yes. <laughs> Come, follow me to my palace. My safety is your duty, is it not? You saw how dangerous it is out here. Uh, I suppose. Damn. Yes, my very own Medjai. What a treat. I thought you were all buried beneath the sands of time. Not all. You should join us. We could use a strong warrior like yourself. To get you out of all the trouble you get yourself into. I'll go help him later. I I want to collect the shit in this area. Ah, there's the treasure. Take. Nice. All right. Quests. What we got? Precious bonds. You want to... I need a quest. All right. I guess I could help this guy. Stealing all that. Who needs to do main quests? Nobody likes main quests. The side quests. Now that's where where the magic is. You know. It sounds like you like being a bandit. Damn, he's he's just living in a tent. My Zenny. Uh, why didn't you come searching for me? I was locked in a cell for days. N where's the ring? Okay, calm down. Rashid Yazi. Who is oh, this? Quisp. This is my brother. Gonna help us find the ring. Are you serious? Okay. Yeah. Why not? I've got time. Ha! Luck is always on your side. Isn't it over? If it was, I'd have my ring. Our ring. You make a good point. Yes. Yes. That ring is worth millions of drachmas to your pacha who lay you if you gave it to her. What? Other brothers. I don't think she would. There are bandits all around here. I'll start there. I'm level 30 at Starfield. <laughs> that's the main quest. No, that's valid. <laughs> Shidi's in danger. I have to get him out of that bandit camp. Suck him. Hey, honey. Oh. Come here. What are you doing? Miss ma'am. Suck him. What are you doing? Your breath is stinky. Why are you so stinky? Oh, gentle. Gentle, baby. Yeah, Sekia. Yeah, you're coming at me for attention, aren't you? Oh, You're so cute. Wanna say hi to the audience? Wanna say hello? No. Alright. Oh, no! Rip your stream. <laughs> Unfortunate. It happens. Hopefully OBS could start being nicer to you. I've heard that it's been having a lot of problems lately. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. It's like it was a sweetie pie. It's a little bit of a brat though. So uh don't trust her. A bit of a jerk. 
Um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep following through with this quest. Oh, wait, I have to do a prerequisite underwater exploration section this stream. Fuck! For those who don't know, I have severe thalassophobia, which is the fear of deep water. It's the only thing in the world that I fear. Other than silverfish. I don't like silverfish either. That's like actually an uh, unspoken rule on my channel. Not the thalassophobia one, the silverfish one. If you send me a picture of a silverfish, I'm banning you from my community, and I'm not even joking about it. Because <laughs> I have silverfish drama. <laughs> uh, but no, in actuality, um, fuck silverfish. They're terrible. Uh, and additionally, I have a fear of deep water. So uh, I, every time I play Assassin's Creed, I limit myself to at least one water exploration section of the map because there's a lot of them. So, um, yeah, you're going to get to see me freak out today. Sorry, I was looking at my leg. My cat got my leg. So I wanted to make sure it wasn't bleeding. Cause she got me yesterday and I was, I was bleeding pretty hard. <laughs> I'm shocked you didn't send that as a TTS message, Jay. <laughs> why, did, why didn't you send that as a TTS? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jay. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. What's coming at me? Oh, it's you. There. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> oh, did it not play? Oh no! Hold on, hold on. You forgot I had TTS? Alright, hold on. Let me see if I can fix it. Let me try it again. Because it did not play, even through the sound alerts, which is weird. Um. MY, look at the size of those big booba looba bang bangs. Those Congo bongos. Those jiggly jiggly gyros. Those plumpa lumpa dump pow pows. Succulent sucker sucks. Whoopee cushion <laughs> yum yums. Triple nipple wham whams. Those bouncing bigelows. Those big fat hooter shooters. <laughs> Why did it start so loud? <laughs> it was so loud. What the fuck? <laughs> I it it bypassed my um my peak cap limit. <laughs> you gotta you gotta escape while you're still ahead. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by, Jay. Enjoy your <laughs> God, I'm gonna curse you with extra clippy tomorrow. I'm gonna come prepared. <laughs> Not tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. Might be. Actually, is it tomorrow? No, it's the day after tomorrow. Because it's Thursday. My brain keeps telling me it's Friday. It is, in fact, not Friday. Oh, uh, remind me. Send me a message, Grizz, to send you the Clippy stuff. <laughs> no, not Clippy. Yeah, yeah, Clippy. We're coming back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. There's just a guy standing over there. Wandering. He's just standing there. Menacingly. Okay.
Nice. Uh, hopefully they'll get close enough to the dead bodies and poison themselves. Like yeah, that's something is watching you. Are there any arrows? Is he coming down here? Oh, if he is, that's gonna, I'm going to make this so much easier on myself. Oh. The Foxo that is hyena's... very tired. He is oh. eepy. The Foxo has the had a very long has day has of long swiping day of eggies swiping and wants eggies to take just a small sleep. sleep. He eeby and needs to sleepy. Funk sleepy, Funk sleepy, and, sleepy and, need bed by and need bed by time. The Fox is currently, the Fox is currently experiencing, experiencing critical, critical levels of being a sleepy little guy and needs to go to bed. He is very tired and needs to sleep. Just a little sleepy time is a treat. Just a little sleepy time for his treat. Funk yonksy needs to sleep. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. Foxo oxo oms needs his beady sleep. Look at him go. He yawned big because he's skeegee. Needs to fall off a little sleepy. Nine night. Time. Good night, Mr. Good night, Mr. Fox. Anyway, um, <laughs> thank you for redeeming E.B. Fox. That is indeed me at all times of the day and night. <laughs> I had two cups of coffee today. Um, Nice. All down. Um, puppy. Yeah, puppy. <laughs> That's actually a hyena. <laughs> Dude, they're just leaving their dead comrades. Like, no big deal. Nice. Can I find a thingy? An arrow. An arrow holder. Cause I need, I need arrows. <laughs> Oh, well, he's poisoned. Which will make things a little easier. I love, I love that, that, that bow. I did put a flaming arrow in his butt, but he would have killed me otherwise. So it's kind of a necessary evil. You know what I mean? Huh? That was a vulture.
ice. Nice! Captain dead! Um... Alright, so now I gotta loot treasure, wipe out the rest of this camp, just to make things easier on myself. Kill that lion, which, as sad as that is, I need the leather. Um, and then... Do the quest. I wouldn't wish a fire arrow in even my worst enemies, but... Well, okay, listen. I'm an assassin. It's kind of what I do. <laughs> it's par for the course. It's part of the job listing. I, I don't really get a choice, you know? I don't make enough to care about ethically murdering. You know what I mean? You guys only just now noticed that body? That's that's a little sus. You guys might suck at your jobs more than I do. Did the guy over there die? He did in fact, so this guy's gonna go over and get poisoned. Oh, I killed an NPC too. Okay, he's down. Nice! Ah, fire damage. Okay. Who else is left? I don't think it is anybody. I think I've gotten them all. I think they're all gone. I think... Oh, wait, there's one guy over here. There's two guys over there. Okay. Look at how that guy's lying. It's in the creed which you wrote yourself. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, you're right. Bayak was the first. I guess that's true. <laughs> we do, we do have to take that into consideration here. Well, that was easy. Um, I think there's really nothing else for me to get from that now. It's just coming down at this point. Ah, I saved myself. Nice. Oh, what did I do to deserve this? Did I 
someone there? Hello? Get me out of here. They will be back any moment. Why do I smell green beans being cooked? Something smells like green beans being cooked. Nice. Okay. I found one treasure. The other one's over there. Nice, heavy blunt. I just realized I forgot to take my meds this morning. Fuck. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> Maybe I'll take them during break. All right. Let's go, Rashidi. Freedom! Even though my arm is going through your, uh, your shendit. <laughs> this ring you have found is certainly sought after. You know about the ring. Or Smelling green beans? I think you would all be better off giving up this life. Hmm? We could. We had the <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Smelling green beans is not the sign of a stroke? <laughs> That's burnt toast, Grizz. <laughs> No, um, smelling green beans is not the sign of a stroke. It, it's burnt toast. <laughs> PSA for anybody. If you're smelling burnt toast without reason, like nobody's making toast or anything, you don't live in an apartment complex where somebody could be making toast underneath of you or above you. Uh, well, underneath of you. I don't think you could really smell toast above you. Uh, if that happens, go to the hospital. You might be having a stroke. Um, also blurry vision, insanely bad migraines, obviously migraines and blurry vision in of itself does not mean like separate does not mean you're having a stroke, but if you're smelling burnt toast, you're having blurry vision, you're struggling to read and or interpret words, uh, and, or you are, uh, struggling with a migraine that those are all signs when two or more are present that you might be having a stroke. So, uh, go contact your doctor. <laughs> go, actually, go to the hospital. Don't just contact your doctor. Go to the fucking hospital. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Your life is worth more than, uh, pennies. Thank you. Um, as for my meds, they're not, like, they're pain meds. They're, they're not super important. <laughs> they're not a cumulative medication. They're nothing of that caliber. I just take them when I'm hurting. I am hurting. I should probably take them so I can wait an hour to take them. It's the, my prescription is literally like take when needed for pain, which tends to be daily, but like, <laughs> that's what my prescription literally reads. If you look at the bottle, it says take daily as needed for pain. <laughs> Cause it's like, if you don't need it for the pain, don't take it. But like, I'm in pain all the time. So it's a daily thing for me, but I just forget to take it because it's a lot of effort because I can't take pills normally. So I have to go through this whole like prep process. <laughs> and it's super exhausting. Someone has dug their way through here. Too small for me. There must be another way around. Don't worry. Break is in 30 minutes, so I'll take my meds then. It's in like 30 to 40 minutes. <laughs> what is a 
Father Chow's doing out here? This is dangerous. I'm just finding things for Anta. What are you doing here? I'm a Magi, looking for some thieves who came this way. Did you see anyone? Oh, no, no one. Are you here alone? No, um, I mean, yes, alone. That boy is hiding something. Around. I can heal, can't I? Hmm. That kid's sus. That kid's not just digging around. What is a child, Bayek of Siwa? <laughs> but he has a kid! I think he knows what a child is, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> That's almost as bad as Ramsey's out of context. If you don't know what that is, it's incredible. It's amazing. I should have a channel on my server for Ramsey's out of context. looking for some stolen items. Looks like you could help me. I don't know what you're talking about. My child, you are not at fault. I'm here to help. We hid it in Menkaure's pyramid. I'm sorry, we had to do it for Anta. I'm sure Anta is a good friend, but Giza is no place for such foolishness. <laughs> Why, where did this small human male come from? <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Yikes, that's unfortunate. I would hate to know what the answer would be in that circumstance. In the darkness? Alright. Explore Menkare's Pyramid. But there's no entrance that I saw. <laughs> My child! <laughs> it's old language. It's old language. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If you ever hear somebody... Speak an old language, you'll understand where my child comes from. Where is the entrance to this fucking pyramid? I want to go inside. Let me go in. Let me in. Why is this bird inverted? Senu. Senu. Over here. Seems like that is the entrance. Yeah, yeah, but my child, my saying my child, that's old English. That's old, older English, Elden English. Comes from the uh, concept of communal raising, where instead of one person taking on the response, one or two people taking on the responsibility of raising a child, it's the whole community that takes on the responsibility. It has its pros and cons. <laughs> Go, Bayek! Go, Bayek! Okay, cool. Are those- I want to take all of them. 
I know what that is. That's that's Malachite. That's what that is. That is Malachite. <laughs> it's Osiris's sacred stone. Fun fact. A few fun facts for you, mighty. A few fun facts. Anyway. We're gonna hop over here. Hop over here. Oh shit. That's a thing. Okay, let's let's go down the proper way. Conflict. the swing. So a child mugged them. Just how many of you are there? Only my brother, sister, and I. Don't harm them. I'm the one responsible. I want the notes you stole from the Greek geographer you knocked out. And I want my money back. We've given everything to the bandits from the hills west of the Hemon tomb. They have Anta too. And wolves give her back unless we steal for them. Who is Anta? Our protector. We were going back to Memphis when they took her. If we don't do as they say, they will kill her. Bandits who profit from children. Make it me a bit. Get your siblings and stay out of sight. You have my word. I will return Anta to you. Damn. Yeah, I can. For the Divine One, King Menkare, he of the Golden Eyes, beloved of his people, herald of the Saffron Sun, take these gifts that may quieten your spirit. May you grant those who offer them forgiveness for letting your sleep be disturbed. You brought prosperity to our people and peace to our land. Cleopatra, Queen of Egypt, Mother of the Nile, honors you. Grant us your blessing. cool anyway <laughs> i just murdered a snake don't mind me <laughs> oopsie poopsie all right we're gonna go deeper into the tomb what okay listen listen i don't know ask ask the people that made this game <laughs> They took some creative liberties, you know what I mean? <laughs> I am doing something very disrespectful. <laughs> Ra, creator, he who steers a manjet, slayer of the serpent. I'm not going to say that name. Uh, wearer of whiskers, guardian of the sacred tree Ashed, who fought hard in Anu on the night when the foes of... Nebuchadnezzar was destroyed. We offer your son Menkare so he may walk at your side. Mm. Fucking alien. Wait, what about aliens? <laughs> Why are we talking about aliens? <laughs> Grizz, what of what about aliens? All right. Nice. Her most serene ethereal goddess, Kamaranembi. Kam. Nope, my dyslexia does not want to. Uh, mother of the king of Upper and Lower Egypt. She who sees Horus and Seth. Great one of 
great one of the Hethes Scepter, one great of praise, priestess of Jehuti, priestess of Joseph, and greatly loved wife of the king, king's daughter of his body, revered mistress, honored by the great god. I see. Aliens taught the Egyptians old English when they built the pyramids? <laughs> the fuck are you <laughs> about? <laughs> oh my god. I hate that, thanks. <laughs> oh. I... <laughs> okay, but real talk, I do get very frustrated. I'm not with the jokes. I love the jokes. I get very frustrated when people genuinely believe aliens built the pyramids. <laughs> like, genuinely. Because it comes from this idea that, like, oh, ancient people couldn't have been advanced enough to build a triangle. <laughs> and it's like, nah, they, they could. With enough manpower, anything's possible. It's very frustrating. This is the saffron shower chamber of Menkare. For when his ka returns to speak with the mortal world, he will see how greatly we loved him. Like, I can understand people being like, oh yeah, they could have built the pyramids, but like, it's weird that they were able to map them to specific celestial objects. That's a little weird, but like, come on. It, like, the pyramids were built in a way that like the time period that the pyramids were built was like very far into the history of Kemet. Like they weren't a, a thing that like knew a new society built. No, this society had been there for a really long time and that's when they were built. So like they had knowledge. <laughs> um, obviously it's made out of rock. <laughs> If you are capable of interstellar traveler, uh, travel, I'm sure you can find a more interesting building material than fucking stones, right? Right? Like, build it out of gold. The Egyptians had that in fucking spades. Like, goddamn. Also, what would its purpose be? Like, that's the other thing, too. Like, what would... What would the the reason for this be? Like, why? Ah, yes, I'm on interstellar. I'm on a, I'm, a, I'm an intergalactic traveler, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go talk to these these ancient, like underdeveloped civilizations, right? That are underdeveloped compared to my own. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna build a triangle. Like, <laughs> who the? Fuck, does it? And it's and then the, their answer is always like the people's answer to this, like the 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 tinfoil hats answer to this is, um, they're they're advanced. We don't know their ways, and I'm like, I think we're pretty sufficiently advanced enough to know that that's fucking stupid. <laughs> that's so fucking stupid. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's like the little kids like us. It's so stupid. <laughs> and like a lot of that um, perception comes from like this conception that like, oh, ancient people who lived in specifically um, that part of the world uh, couldn't build something like that like they're too stupid to build something like that and so it's very frustrating because you can tell what the undertone is under that statement because if it's any other place in the world it's fine but because egypt is in that's like that area of the world suddenly it's a different story and it's very frustrating <laughs> so uh make the joke don't propagate the rumor it's a funny, it's a funny joke to make fun of tinfoil hats, but do, do, do not buy into it, please. It's coming from deep-seated racism. And nobody likes being racist. Intentionally or unintentionally. 
hey yo, come here. Come here. Can I? Yes. There we go. Eat an arrow. Uh, maybe the alien just has the tissue like me. <laughs> you never know. Maybe maybe triangle is what they wanted to make. Only thing I'm curious about is how sharp the who was King Tut's meteorite? <laughs> Naive. <laughs> um, it probably wasn't very sharp. Actually, if I had to guess, I don't think it would have been very sharp for the sheer reason that it seemed the knife that you're referencing, if I remember correctly, was ceremonial. It wasn't actually like a utility knife. And as a comedic pagan, I can speak with experience and say that the knife, not supposed to be sharp. You're not supposed to be cutting anything with it. <laughs> it's just for, like, ceremonial purposes. It's not supposed to be actually sharp, because if you stumble with it, you don't want to spill your own blood, because that's really bad. It's a really bad idea. Um, it's geometrically perfect. It's a triangle, <laughs> Becky! <laughs> the thing is, it's not even geometrically perfect, either! <laughs> It's it's really close, but it's not even like absolutely perfect to the decimal. <laughs> uh, VTuber concept with the alien convinced them to make the thing coordinated with celestial bodies triangles like a prank phone call. Like, guy, shut up, shut up! I yes, guy, just make it pointy. I promise it's worth it. <laughs> Okay, but the worst part is, is we even know, like, their reasoning for making them triangles, like the people of Kemet, we know why they made them triangles. <laughs> so it's like, even another point against this idea that aliens <laughs> made the pyramids. Because triangles hold significance in uh, Kemetic paganism. Nothing. Nice! Let's make it sharp and cut vegetables for lasagna! <laughs> I want lasagna. Lasagna sounds so good right now. Lasagna sounds delicious, though. I'm not even gonna lie. Excuse me. Excuse me. I keep burping. Can I? Can I not burp, please, for five seconds? Let me not. My gird is kicking my ass. I can feel the cold burn of stomach acid <laughs> and it's a problem i haven't even eaten anything today jesus my gird is kicking my ass today <laughs> um the way he screamed is how i <laughs> god i yeah i could see it i could see it <laughs> All right, let's uh, go this way. Where's my horse? Who was it that said horse, horse, my kingdom for a horse? Who the fuck was that that said that?
Because that's a quote from somebody. I just don't remember who. Does anyone remember who said, a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse? I don't know about Gerd, but not eating will give me acid problems sometimes. That's, yeah, that's fair. Although, like, for me, it's the exact opposite. If I don't eat, I'm less likely to have more acid problems than if I do eat. But I probably should eat anyways. I just don't have anything that's GERD safe to eat right now. And I really want this cold feeling to go away. Hyena layer. Richard III, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why that came to me. Probably because I was calling my horse over, but... Did you Google that, or did you just, just know? This is, this is probably going to kill me. There we go. Wonderful. Google? Ah, uh, at least you were honest. <laughs> How the fuck? How did the hyena get up to me? That way? I love how dated this game's like movements are because it was like a PS4 release game. <laughs> um Okay, they are up there. There we go. Perfection. Did I clear this area? I did. All right. Um, let's go over to this area then and go and 
explore there. Um, yeah, the hyena really was. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I expected. I mean, good for them. <laughs> Oh, hello, horse. Oh, look at this sight. It's so pretty. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Gives you no time to look at it after I've uh, called it out. Because I, I don't know. I'm a monster like that. Why am I dead? <laughs> Incredible. Immaculate. You can't do shit to me. Got a dumb general question out of curiosity. How tall is everyone in chat? Oh, I'm not telling you. <laughs> I'm tall enough. I'm tall enough to reach cookies off the top shelf. <laughs> That's how tall I am. Tall enough to reach cookies off the top shelf. You're like two foot, Chad Nubis. <laughs> You're short. You're teeny. You're teeny tiny. You're small. You're little. <laughs> was eaten. The hyena must have swallowed the ring too. Ah, this is absurd. God, now we're going after the hyena. <laughs> Alright. All right, after the hyena. I got nothing to hide about my height, shorter than the average in my country, five foot eight. <laughs> five foot eight, yeah, that's a fair height. I can, I can vibe with that. It's, it's, it's average, it's average. Um, yeah, you're tiny. You're tiny, chat noobus. You're itty bitty. You're itty bitty, teeny weeny.
Nice. Nice. Come here. <laughs> Yeah! Hell yeah, look at that! We made it out. I mean, average height in my country is like 6'2 for males. Yeah, it's the same here. <laughs> but that's still, that's, that's still average. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's only a couple inches. You're good. You got it. You're fine. Ah, there it is. We'll go after it. <laughs> I think that's a common trend anywhere. <laughs> people just like tall people. It is what it is. Those who are like towering over them. I don't know. Si size complex is a thing. They really tried, didn't they? All right. Um, where are we going? Okay, all the way back over there. Oh, flowers. I love the desert mirages. They're really cool. 
There are even neater in other, like, locations on the map, I think, where there's, like, even more desert, because this is barely a desert. <laughs> Excuse me. Come on. We got this. We can make it. There, have the ring. Mm. Yes, quite unfortunate. And what of the ring? Did you find it? I found it. Did you not hear me? About Turo. This place is dead for. Give it to me. I may die. No. I should be on my way now, brother. Are you not sad? Your friends have died. In Giza, a friend dies every day. Oof. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if I could just like steal the ring? And landed like over here, but it's it's like gone. It's in the sand. You're never gonna find that again. It's gonna go deeper and deeper and deeper. Maybe one day it'll get buried up, but that's unlikely. Um So we've got about 10 minutes before break. So let's go explore this. Let's go explore the pyramid. Um, to the pyramid. Look at all these test pyramids. <laughs> I saw zealing it. All right. Okay. Through here. Nope, okay, guess not. There we go. Oh! Yeah! Climbing up the side of a pyramid. Tomb of Kafre. Here we go into the depths. Man, we're just, we're really going, aren't we? We're just into the ground, I guess. All right. Oh, good glorious Ta. Take this offering of the sacred bull and do not rain your curse down on us. We are simple men and our families were starving. That is the truth of it. And we humbly ask for forgiveness for our transgressions against you. Hmm. Is there any other way through here? Damn, why did you have to actually, like... 
loot a, a dead animal's body. Like, why? Why? Why loot the animal? What did the animal do? Ooh, gem. Obscured one, do not be angry. We will find and punish them. Those who desecrated your bed chamber shall not enter the reed fields. Ah. Uh, aren't we kind of desecrating this chamber? Into the hole. Um, yeah. Excuse me. Reminder, levers are affected by the weight of objects placed on each side of the lever. This this counts as a lever, I think. Oh, look, it's Shopties! Oh, well, uh, oops. Well, I might as well knock over all the Shopties. Some objects can be moved. Triangle to grab the object and L to maneuver it. I think we don't want this to move. So we can get up to higher ground. Oh, look, more Shopties. Mm, the physics are... Oh, whoops. No. Fault. Yeah! I love watching them, like, domino. <gasps> oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> But like a fire will swallow our enemies. Great, great conqueror, despoiler, lord of the blood seas. May you raise these armies against those who oppose you in the afterlife. I see. Oh. Shit. It's not over enough. Gotta move it slightly more. Oh, yay! I hope you enjoy your dinner. And, and I'm gonna keep falling. There we go. Apparently. <laughs> Took a little, little, a little trial and error to get up there. Huh. Raw, I see. Oh, what's this? Ooh. That didn't count as a treasure? That, that's interesting that that didn't count as a treasure. There's a cat meowing. Snatch. Um. Pick all that up. Predator bow. Warrior bow. Ancient writers from the old kingdom. 
Hell yeah. We got an ability point. All right, stealing shit. Oh God, it's so sandy. So sandy, mama mia. Uh, okay, there we go. Then I should be able to just like climb out, right? How does he just fling himself up, right? Like, how do you do that? <laughs> I just emerge surrounded by enemies like, hmm, well, shit. Okay, well, that's done. Uh, let's look at abilities. I should have like three or four points, four ability points. Nice. Um, Nice. Okay. So we've gotten most of the um, bow stuff. So we're going to get these last three um, done. And then we'll move on to uh, the this side, which is the seer side so after we're done with i think the hunter side we'll move on to the seer side and then we'll move up to the warrior side um just kind of an idea of what we're doing here uh da, 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 da. got a new papyrus I have so many weapons I can sell now. Wasn't it considered a sin to rob graves? Yes, it was. It was, in fact. Although, sin, um, I wouldn't call it a sin. More like a crime against divinity. Um, because sin as a concept implies, like, that you cannot be forgiven for it, but you could. Um,. In Kemet, you could be forgiven for ha a cr committing crime against divinity. It just depends on the divinity you committed the crime against. So if you robbed, it was believed that when people died, they'd become gods. That was kind of the belief. So anyone could, it's just uh, depending on their uh, lineage, like whether or not they led uh, fruitful lives would, would depend on what effect how strong of a deity they were. So like pharaohs, because they did so much for everybody and were remembered so widely by people, would obviously be more of a higher divinity than those who uh, did not lead people and like uh, were kind of like just living, you know? Uh, but when you robbed graves, you were essentially committing a crime against divinity, and it was to the god that that person was favored by the most, because everybody has one god that is that favors them the most. It was a crime against them, and then on top of that, it was also a crime against them and their divine spirit, so... If that makes sense. Um, but... You could petition for that spirit to forgive you if um, if you offered enough stuff or you did enough good deeds that honored them in their name and yada yada yada. But oftentimes grave robbing, it said, was not forgiven. So take that how you will.
So yes, grave robbing was looked down upon. It was believed you would be cursed if you robbed a grave. Um, and this involved anyone's grave. That, that doesn't just apply to royal bloods. It's just anyone who was buried and had their funeral rites read out, uh, you'd be cursed. That's actually part of the funeral rites. If you uh, study the funeral rites, it actually says the curse in there, the specific curse, and it mentions grave robbing uh, specifically, so you know, take that how you will. Oh, I'm playing on a controller. <laughs> I could probably turn down the sensitivity, though. I'm just used to it, that's all. I can see about turning down the sensitivity to see. I don't think I can, though, because it's a controller. Oh, I can! Oh, wow! Oh, that's so much better. Good catch. I didn't even think about turning down the sensitivity. <laughs> I was just like, well, I guess I'll just die. <laughs> I mean, most of the games I play don't have sensitivities on them. I'm also used to playing games like Genshin, where, like, the sensitivity isn't nearly as aggressive. Just from my side, I would turn it down a notch since when you use a special ability, tend to miss when it's turned up high. Yeah. I can see what you mean. Oh, ill. Hang on, nothing. There we go. But no, I'll keep trying. I'll test to see if I like four. And if I don't like four, then I'll, I'll turn it down to three. It's not a big deal. But now that I know I can, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll utilize that. Because I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> so, good call on that part. Uh, that was pretty helpful. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, since Mentor to a great skilled fellow assassin. <laughs> I will admit, I have not played other Assassin's Creed games before this one or after this one. I have not played a single one. I do have a handful of the games. Um, because either A, they were given to me, or B, Game Share is great. Game Share is amazing. Um. Ah, oh, shit!
I didn't even see them there because I can't pick up on them with Senu right now. But yeah, I haven't played any Assassin's Creed games before this one. Um, so it's it's been a, a fun experience. And granted, I have beaten this game once before. I just wanted to play it again on stream because I struggled to understand the plot the first time. Um, like, I understood it, but also, like, I for like I understood the outside plot, like, the plot outside of the, um, the, what is the name of the, Outside of the, I get, the only word I can think of is simulation. I don't actually know the name of the machine. <laughs> I don't remember it. Um, I followed that plot fine. I just struggled to follow Bayek's actual plot. <laughs> that, that's what I was dealing, struggling with. So I was like, I'll play it through it again. He who dwelleth in his flame, he who is in his hour, red of both eyes, flame seeing in the black chaos, and by whose eyes the great manjet will be halted. We ask you to grant us eternal life by your side. I'm following along a lot better this time, though. To the great Baba, bull of the baboons, firstborn son of Osiris and feaster on entrails, he who stands upon the lake of fire and devours the unrighteous souls, those whose hearts have weighed heavy up against Mott, Destroyer, Punisher, Ravager, Judge, Most Revered, Harbinger of Chaos, we give you honor. Hey yo, baboon. Baboon boy. Been on this road since the start in 2007, only didn't play Valhalla because it didn't meet my ideals of an assassin and not of <laughs> not a Viking. So hopefully Mirage is alright when it comes to I'm so excited for Mirage. Uh, that's a game I'm going to play on release, for sure, if I have the ability to. If I don't have the ability to, I will sob, but also not, not too loudly. I see. I am I am helping So Anta, you are a protector too, huh? Anta, I will get to you in a second. Not what I wanted. I, I need to solve this puzzle first. I'm sorry, Anta. Because I'm not coming back here. And I'm going to put a bunch on here. No, I'm not. Bayek, be quiet. You talk too much. <laughs> you talk too much for a silent protagonist. Let me ignore quests. Damn it. Stop nagging me. <laughs> you shall all have the ability to play Mirage, just not all at the same time. Yeah, I have a sneaking suspicion that console release, Mirage is going to be released exclusively on PlayStation 5. Uh, that's just my suspicion. And I don't have a PS5 yet. I do plan on getting one. I might be able to get it before Mirage comes out, but I don't fully know. Or it's going to come out on PC. So, it's it's gonna do one of those two things. Um, so, yeah. Uh, now, I am in, planning on getting a PC very, 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 very soon. Literally, all of my excess money is going towards getting a PC. So, here's hoping that I can get it then. Uh, but it's gonna go PC, camera, uh, PC upgrade, camera upgrade, and then console upgrade. Uh, H, the guards have been taken care of as we agreed. On the third day after the full moon, they will find three bladders of wine to amuse them. It won't be long till they will be drunk, too drunk to care. Enter the tomb then. Do your job and deliver to my house the next day. Remember power I wield and keep my name out of it. Even a whiff of this and my exalted position will be compromised. T. Interesting.
Yeah. I didn't know about Xbox, though. It might release on Xbox. It'd be cool if it did. Not because I play Xbox. I don't play Xbox at all. It just would be nice if we stopped doing the whole, like, uh, console exclusive thing. People like Xbox for their own reasons. People like PlayStation for their own reasons. I like PlayStation personally because it has better accessibility in my personal experience um, than Xbox does. Xbox has a history of having really hard on the eyes stuff on their systems, like either on the load screens or on the um, pause screens and stuff like that. So it's a little harder for people like me who are sensitive to like super bright colors. Oh, Brioche, thank you for the posture check. I was in fact shrimping. The exclusive thing has been going on for far too long, if you ask me. Should have stopped the trope in 2013. I agree. And what sucks is that, like, Xbox is kind of killing their platform because of it. Because PlayStation is keeping up to the exclusive thing. You know, they're keeping up with it. Um, pretty well for the most part. Like, if you're gonna do it, don't, like, half-ass it. You know what I mean? I hate the trope, period. I think it's fucking stupid. But, like, if you're gonna do it... Don't half-ass it. <laughs> like, if you're gonna go through with the trope, right? And you're gonna, like, make stuff exclusive. Make everything exclusive. Or as many things as you can exclusive. Like, all of your big sellers exclusive. Um, and so what PlayStation does is fine. Like, that's all right. You know, they they if you're gonna do the exclusive thing, PlayStation does it right. Uh, but Xbox doesn't because they share everything with PC. So, like... All people really have to do, most people, most gamers have a PC anyway. <laughs> and at this point, Xbox is not cheaper than a PC. So it's kind of ridiculous to even presume that <laughs> people won't have a PC. Because some people don't, but for the most part, only diehard Xbox fans are picking the Xbox over the PC. So it's just... It's just a bit of a problem. Because, <laughs> like, the reason why you get a console is because, you know, it, it meets one of your criteria. A, it's cheaper. B, it's higher fidelity. C, it takes up less space. And that's, that's really it. That's the main reasons why you would get a console instead of just getting a PC. <laughs> and there are some PlayStation games that aren't available on PC, but, like, almost every single Xbox game is also available on PC. So it's like, all you really need is a PlayStation and a PC, so it's kind of fucking Xbox over significantly. It's a problem. If you're gonna do exclusives, do exclusives. If you're not gonna do exclusives, don't do them. Just don't half-ass it one way or the other. <laughs> oh, here's my prerequisite water. Uh, okay. Uh... Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I hate water. I hate underwater areas. They fuck me up. Oh, you startled me. That bone just be rolling. I didn't expect to, like, pull out my, uh, Okay. Mm, okay. I didn't expect to pull out my torch and there just be a dead body there. That was that was weird. Um I am looking forward to when I can afford all the specs I need to build my own custom setup. Also be the first time I build one, so hopefully I don't blow up my apartment. Yeah, no, I'm saving up for a really beefy PC because fun fact I actually stream on a really really low quality setup my setup's actually really bad and you can kind of see it here and there it's not like so bad that it's unbearable but it's definitely not peak quality like I want it to be um so I'm I'm saving up a lot for a very high tech PC um a very high fidelity PC. Uh, and I have somebody who's gonna 
build it for me, which is very exciting. Um, okay, there it is. Let's go, Anta. That's a cute dog. I'm slowly piecing myself together. Any monitor is so badly. I have one TV. <laughs> oh no, I'm using a TV too. <laughs> Osman. If you haven't seen him, he's the most harrowing of them all. Big and strong. He's the one who took Anta. Hmm. He might have Cortesios' notes. Probably using them to locate treasure. I have seen him in the ruins around Corpus Pyramid. I will take care of this, Osman. You should leave. Now. I love that dog. Look around the pyramid. I want a dog like that. Uh, fun fact, that dog breed, I believe, is called the uh, Anubis dog, or the Pharaoh dog, and they're so cute. I, I love them. They're adorable. Um, my PC build friend of the family has retired from that. I have tried many times to ask if you can build it for me in exchange for a lot of cake, but he said that will look bad on my thighs. <laughs> well, thankfully, a PC isn't apparently hard to build from what I've been told. Um, I just struggle with building a PC because it involves getting low to the ground a lot, and I can't do that. Again, pots. So I have uh, Manager Leon, who's actually uh, one of the mods here on stream. Uh, they're building it. She's building it for me, which is very sweet of her. She also assembled all of the parts I need and kept it under budget, magically. <laughs> very excited about it. Um, it'll be a good time. Uh, and we both mutually agreed that RGB, not very good. <laughs> I like RGB. I think it's pretty, but it's not for me. Ah, oh, fuck. Up. Nice. Stop rolling. Cortesios is not. You'll be happy to see this. <laughs> the adult version of like, a, yeah, that's that's pretty much it from what I've heard too. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I've heard that it, it it's pretty good, like pretty easy. Um, and what you really need to like pay attention to to, to when building a PC is um, whether things fit together properly. So just uh, I don't know. Um, join a, I would recommend joining like a PC building community. Um, I know I don't normally advocate for Reddit, but like Reddit's PC building community is pretty okay. They're pretty, pretty good people, pretty decent people. There are some Reddit communities where I'm like, I like these guys. These guys are pretty nice. Um, the PC building community is one of them. Um, so that's that's one I, I, I recommend uh, joining if you want some some help. I'm sure somebody over there would 
love to help you out and tell you what you're what you got to do and walk you through it until you can figure out your first build and after your first build from what i've heard you just start kind of building it like a pro you know um you could probably also ask your friend to not build it but like help you in terms of like instructing you how to build it so that way you can learn how to do it or point you in the right direction for resources so that might also be helpful I got mine off of Gumtree. <laughs> nice. I just, I can't believe it. I owe you my life. <laughs> Gumtree. <laughs> That's good. That humors me so much. Is it over? Are the bandits gone? And I won't bother you anymore. We can stop bludgeoning people over the head now. He's the thieves? <laughs> Easy, friend. There was a misunderstanding. Their hands were forced. Now these kids need a safe passage back to Memphis, right? Yes, to the house of Neff. But only other children. I have not yet mapped out Memphis. It was supposed to be my next stop. Do you know the way? No, uh, they know their way around. What luck. Come along, then. Aww. No. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Bayek looked so uncomfortable. He was like, oh, okay. <laughs> no. That was cute. Oh, look at the dog. Can I pet him? Yeah, go be with your go be with your family. All right. So, with all that being said, it is now uh, half past break time. So, we are going to take a break real quick. Gonna go get something to eat. Gonna go get something to drink. Uh, you guys should go do the same. I'm also gonna go take my meds because I forgot about that. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys back here in just a little bit. Give me ten to twenty minutes, and I'll be right back. So, see you then.
and we are back hello my shopsies sorry for the delay in coming back i was running a little late um i lost track of time <laughs> be completely honest i lost track of time but a few key things happened while i was gone thank you so much draconic for the raid i don't know if you're still here but that was very cool of you i appreciate it so much uh, I hope stream was great. I hope everything was running well. But um, yeah, we are back. Um, hello, Brioche. Uh, hello, Fast Hunter. Just got a big spoonful of the chili I put in my dinner. So now I'm sweating excessively. <laughs> oh boy. Mm, spicy food. I love spicy food. It hurts my stomach, but I love it so much. Uh, okay, what are we going to do for the remaining two hours of stream? Um... Let's see. Let's do this quest. Do we have anything else on the map? Oh yeah, we do. We do have some stuff. There's a Falaka tie over there. Iron Bull. I am not a high enough level for that. Uh, we'll go over there. Um. Is there anywhere else? on the map let's see uncompleted location there's one over here got everything there so um So yeah, let's go this way then, I guess. Um, because who the hell wants to uh, do quests when you can explore? <laughs> Relatable. My gird is bad when I eat spicy food, but it tastes so good. <laughs> it, just, it just be that way sometimes. Yeah. Water. I know. Thank you. It has a little, little tab. I know. I saw. Thank you. Thank you for the water. Another one? Why do you have two? <laughs> I actually didn't hear you at all. You're gonna have to send that in the chat. Or get really close to my ear. I still can't hear you. Take out my headphone. What was? Uh-huh. Oh wow, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Great. Anyway, I'm a gay gay one, so... Nice, fair enough. Alright. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we now have water bottles in our home. <laughs> Which is, I guess, fair enough. <laughs> I prefer reusable water bottles, but uh, it'd be that way. Ooh. Excuse me. Come on. Hone in on something. Thank you. Okay, there's a lot of people here. Well. Oh my god, there's more! Squirt caps? Squirt- is that what we're going with for the name? Is squirt caps? We're going with squirt caps. Squirt caps is what we're going with. <laughs> Squirt caps. Yeah, okay. Well, that is an uncomfortable word, similar to uh, Kerbidis. I don't like either word. <laughs> they don't have the seal on the inside, so they're not suck cap. Suck 
caps. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say in my chat? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna time I'm gonna time you out. <laughs> I'm gonna put you in time out for that one. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> the man, the timing on that was so good. Nice. Clip? Yeah, hey, you, you're responsible for that. I can't clip midstream. I mean, I can, it just wouldn't be easy. Dude, you ran up to the poison body and started taking damage. Oh, well, somebody died of poisoning. Nice! Oh my goodness, Titus 1966, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it so much, welcome! Hope you're vibing. Hope you're enjoying yourself. We're just enjoying some Assassin's Creed. Uh, come here, you. Gonna get you. Nothing you can do about it. Get out from behind the rock! I align it. Oh, so close. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> now that guy will take poison damage. Nice! Oh, I love doing that. Yeah, that one was terrible, Fast Hunter. That was just a bad joke. <laughs> That's okay. You can't win them all. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Although, do you see any video game characters take a shit? That's- that's the real question. But they're all horrendously constipated.
Nice. I flung myself off of that platform, don't mind me. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. All right, up we go. You saw nothing. Not a single thing was seen. You think I am a fool? Yes. I will show you. See, you are a fool. A fool with bad tastes. Trevor from GTA 5, we see him do it, but behind a dumpster! Okay, you know what, that's a fair point. <laughs> alarm! Alarm! Yeah! Dude, you're gonna die. Ugh, when they vomit, it's so disgusting. <laughs> Down for the count! <laughs> I love watching them keel because they're poisoned and, like, they don't realize it. <laughs> it's so great. What are you saming, Grizz? I'm afraid of what you're saming. Dude, they know. They've been known. <laughs> What's my back? <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it's disgusting when anyone vomits. I hate vomiting, and I do it often, so it sucks. Vomiting is terrible. I don't enjoy it. Cause like your mouth gets like really filled, like super filled with saliva and it's just uncomfortable. Ugh. Find it funny when you double assassinate and the guy sees you do it, but can't escape the killing animation. <laughs> yeah. I remember that in my old game. Like when I would play, when I played on my old file. Cause like I said, this is my second round through here. Um. And I used to double assassinate as many times as I could because I liked the bonus experience it gave to you. Can you tell I lean very hard on... Hell yeah! Look at that! Y'all can't stop me. Hello there. Hello there, Tinks! Hello, Hadu! How are you today? Oh! And a stretch. I can do that. Stretch. Mm, big stretch. <sighs> How are you, Haru? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're vibing, living the dream. That guy just straight pissing. Come on. Bayek. Bayek. Bayek.
Assassination! Piss assassination! This is why you don't go pissing when there's an assassin around. Nice. How has this guy not seen me move? Anybody else? Nah, nobody. <laughs> You just got up? Oh, that's so valid. I'm doing okay. I am... <laughs> I have two cups of coffee in my system, so I am a bit energetic. Um, I forgot to take my meds again on break. God damn it. <laughs> I keep fucking doing that. I ate something, but I forgot to take my medication. God, I need to... I need to be more responsible. <laughs> Hardubal? Fuck you, chat noobs. That was so bad. Why can't you be funny for once? <laughs> I remember I did a challenge when I upgraded my melee damage to max and beat the hardest camp fighting only with fists. <laughs> I could never. I lean too heavily on bows. Go take me. I, <laughs> I would if it didn't require literally like 20 minutes of prep. <laughs> Is that Apollo crying for MILFs? What? It what? Is it him crying for MILFs though? It is. And, and, yeah. Apollo. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, listen, listen. I took my meds earlier, but I'm supposed to, because I usually forget on stream days, take your meds. This is a threat. Okay, listen, listen, listen. They're pain meds. They are optional. <laughs> They're not like, I have to take them or else something bad will happen. It's not like that. They're completely optional medications take it uh, if needed for pain i'm in pain i should take them i just forgot i went to go get food and this is why it's a 20 minute process because i have to eat before i i take my meds because they're they're medication that'll cause internal bleeding if you haven't eaten first so <laughs> i went to go eat and then i lost track of time eating a bunch of pistachios <laughs> <laughs> so I've gotten the eating eating part down. I don't have the actual medication fluid next to me. Um cuz I have to like turn my medication to a powder essentially to take it. It's unfortunate cuz I can't swallow properly. So you know, and I already have permission from my doctor to do this. So like I have I have medical permission for this, but I I forget <laughs> and so I left to go get food and forgot to go take my medication so that's what happened um <laughs> if that makes sense <laughs> and yes um my cat is not neutered um and all the we have 
two boy cats and one, two, three, four, five girl cats for a total of seven cats. So we have five girl cats, two boy cats, and one of the boy cats is neutered. The five girl cats are spayed. And the one boy is not neutered because when he was taken to go get neutered, he, the vet, uh, misrecognized, um, misrecognized teary eye, which is a common, like, just kind of eye irritant usually caused by allergies. Mistook teary eye that another vet already cleared him for, uh, and said that he was good to go under the neutering surgery. Mistook teary eye for kitty cold, and if you don't know what kitty cold or kitty flu is, it's it's can be pretty de deadly to cats. So, um, it was a, a bit of a, a, a an issue. Um, and so he never got neutered, and now he's on the waiting list again, and it's been, like, over a year. <laughs> it's been almost a year. Um, if not over, so... You know, that's kind of what we're waiting on. We have six cats! I thought we had seven! It's... Apollo, Noble, Nyx, Penelope, Sekka, and Pandora. Oh, you are right. It is six. <laughs> I must have counted one of them twice. <laughs> um. So. <laughs> and so Apollo, because he's not neutered, will just start screaming. And because all the female cats are significantly older than him, other than his sister, Nyx, we just say he's crying out for MILFs because it's funny. So, yeah. And it's it's a play on those ads, Hot MILFs in Your Area. If you've ever seen those ads, they're so bad. I've seen them on YouTube, which doesn't make any sense to me considering YouTube's like, oh, I'm trying to be family friendly. <laughs> um, so I've seen them on YouTube and it's just like Hot MILFs in Your Area. <laughs> it's like, that's what we think. He's looking for Hot MILFs in his area. Um... So yeah, there's the context on the joke. Enjoy it. Um, if you don't know what a MILF is, I'm not going to tell you. You can go Google that. Um, <clears throat> you will curl into a ball because of pain, and we don't want you to do that. I won't, I won't curl into a ball because of pain. Nah, I, this, this pain is very mild compared to, like, flare-up pain. I just know that after stream, by the end of stream, I will be kind of sore because I've been sitting in about the same position this whole time uh, because I don't have a phone camera. I don't have an iPhone with face ID, so I have to sit in a very specific range of motion in order for webcam tracking to work. Um, and because of that, I get kind of sore when I stream. Um, so I'm fine. I'm okay. I'll be all right. Um, I'll just be a little more achy than normal and might end stream like 20 minutes early. That's all. Um, so, you know, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm good. I got it. <laughs> God, so relatable. <laughs> You're lucky I waste all my points. <laughs> if you need another break, please take one, but no... But you know you best, yeah. I'm I'm good. I'm good. And Chat Nabus is behind me. I'm sure he'll grab me my meds if if we all ask him very politely. I would so <laughs> had to break you right now. <laughs> Look, I I forget to count. I don't know how to count. Okay, Leon. I don't know how to count. Got to get you one of those charm wrist angles with the three different test charms. I want one of them, but I'm so broke. Uh. Oh, Jimmy, turn your ad block off. You're scaring away all the hot milfs in the area. <laughs> Listen, if it's a if it's male cat, he probably is yelling for milfs neutered or not. Mine screams for cats outside the door all the time. Uh, why did I just get a notification on YouTube? More shoe freaks the entire Bible. And it's almost four days long. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a fun watch.
That seems like something I would live stream. What? Uh, nothing. Don't worry, I'm not here. You don't see a thing. Well, I'm too short. Come on. One of you come over here. Hell yeah. So <laughs> where are you going? You can't hide forever. And I'll be waiting. I have had it going. <laughs> you, you think this was part of a bigger push? Haven't seen much action otherwise. Hey, what's going on? Oh my god, that's fucking insane. I love that though. Can you imagine the amount of dedication that that guy must have had? That's fucking immaculate. That man deserves a a, a webby. Oh, I didn't see him. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay, so I got through that. Um... What is my level at? I am at 22. Excuse me. Um. So I think I'll go there. And then after that, I think I'll go. Um. And. Not, not there. That's a little too far. Um, I guess I would go into these areas around here because they're, they're a decent level and I can start exploring them and picking up their quests. Um, 84 hours of voice mixing. I mean, I read some of the Bible, but if more she reads it, I might just do it all. Do it. Okay, I have read the Bible. Fun fact. I have read the Bible cover to cover uh, multiple times. And the reason why I've done it is so that way I can um, quote Bible verses at bigots who are bigoted using the Bible so I can prove them wrong. That's why I've read the Bible. <laughs> also, some of the stories are fucking wild in that book. Like, holy shit. <laughs> That book is crazy. Like, bitch straight up goes, all right, if a voice in my head commands it, I guess I'm gonna just go on top of this mountain and kill my son. And it's like, and then God goes, psych. <laughs> Which is so insane. Like, it's just so fucking insane. That is, that is not right. <laughs> oh my God. That's what we're aspiring to be, huh? I don't think that's a good thing. Also, it gets into some really interesting info hazards. 
like God's ego death, which I will not go into here. I do plan on making an entire video essay on uh, like info hazards and stuff. But like, if you like existential crises, look up God's ego death because you need to have some basis of the Bible, like some biblical knowledge to understand the entire kind of like question that is being asked because otherwise it, you might not understand it but it's fucking trippy <laughs> my favorite is the sisters that get their father drunk and oh yeah it does stuff <laughs> yeah that one's fucked up <laughs> is it bad that i know exactly which story you're talking about for the most part and the reason why I know which story you're talking about isn't because of the does stuff part. It's because you said two sisters and not any other number. Um, so yeah, take that how you will. Also, let's, there's also the like lost bu books of the Bible, which are, f oof. Those are also crazy reads. Like the books that were too crazy to be put into the Bible? Oh man, those are, those are, those are a trip. Oh, those are a trip. I just come here. No, you ain't getting away. I slaughtered your sibling, so I will now slaughter you. You're not escaping. Cool. <laughs> Wholesome stuff. Totally. Only story I remember from church studies, the story of the guy that God keeps testing his faith in the most fucked up way. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of those. Take photo. <laughs> Who the fuck? It was like, yes, take photo. Take a photo. Excuse me. Huh? Um. Y'all seeing this? <laughs> uh, that's not what hyenas do, I don't think. Miss ma'am. Miss, miss ma'am. Miss, uh. Uh, yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> I got the Bible on my nightstand. Just have it. I have it on my coffee table. I have a little pocket Bible on my coffee table. Not for literally any reason. I don't even believe any of the stories. Again, comedic pagan. But like, I just think the stories are funny. And I like pulling the sucker out. When somebody is like trying to come at me. <laughs> for being ungodly. <laughs> I was like, come on, look at me. You think I give a shit? <laughs> oh, it's so fun. <laughs> I don't like stirring the pot. I don't, oh, like, don't get me wrong. I don't like causing arguments. But when people are being irrational and they're coming at me, right? And they're starting problems with me. Like, when somebody comes up to me and goes, you're being ungodly. 
you're being horrible you are a sinner if they come up to me like that and they start being a a, a douche canoe right and they start acting in that way i i have no problem <laughs> causing chaos i have no issue with it i think it's so fun it's a good way to blow off steam because they're going to be irrational and aggressive no matter what I do. There's no pleasing them. There's no making friends with them. So what do I do instead? I cause problems on purpose. And let me tell you, you haven't lived until you've gotten, gotten an old Christian woman to start questioning her moral beliefs. <laughs> here's a theory that god is actually the bad guy in the story right like yeah that's another one that i've i've heard that's another uh um uh there's one uh the world is God's prison theory is another one. That one's pretty fucking wild. There's a lot of cool, cool ego death theories. I, I recommend looking into them. They're very interesting. Um, I'm agnostic because if God exists, which I have no evidence of, he's a fucking psychopath. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. That's a fair analysis. I, I love my agnostic viewers. I think agnostic people are really like the agnostic way of thinking of things is so cool. Because like y'all just vibe. Like I could I could tell you the most off the wall shit about pagan stuff. Like cause there's some off the wall stuff I could tell you about. I could go, I could I just don't wanna like alienate anybody if you guys want to hear me talk about that stuff feel free um i should make that a redeem i should make you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna write that down i should make that a redeem um if you guys ever want me to just like gush for like five minutes five to ten minutes or answer a question on a on a pagan topic Feel free to ask. Like, if you see something really whack, <laughs> I would love to gush about it, because chances are I know about it. I've had so many people come up to me and be like, hey, what the fuck is up with tarot? And I'm like, okay, I can tell you all about that. <laughs> I yo, Swamp Witch! <laughs> I love that. Wait, uh, a Swamp Witch or, like, a, a Bayou Witch? Because they're, they're different. Buy you bitch. No, buy you witch. <laughs> um. Just because I'm curious. You don't have to share if you don't want to. But I, I am very, very curious. Um. But no, that's so nice. Every time I hear about your partner, Grizz, I just think they're so cool. They, they, they just sound cooler and cooler every time like I, you bring them up in conversation <laughs> green witch with a goblin oh <laughs> oh I love that I love that so much that's the best way to phrase that oh my goodness <laughs> green witch with a goblin aesthetic I guess that would be, yeah. <laughs> I guess calling, calling them a swamp witch would be 100% accurate. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Trees, rocks, moss. Ooh. I, I need to practice more uh, green magic just as a whole. I need to, I need to. I need to do more green magic. I'm not naturally inclined towards that stuff, personally. Like, working with plants and moss and stuff like that. 
I'm much more keen at working with like spirits, not with not with plants, not with living things. <laughs> if it's a living thing, I'm not as adept at it. I can do it. I'm just not as good as I am with working with dead things. <laughs> Hello, Hope. We're talking about witchy shit. <laughs> it started as a conversation talking about weird shit in the Bible, and now we're talking about witchy stuff <laughs> and how God's a psychopath. <laughs> my bible is 10 years old and only a limited run edition when i was a very big believer in Luth lutheranism i don't know about that specific branch of uh of uh christianity i'll have to look into that and did confirm a uh, confirmation confirmation ritual thingy but i am not that much going to church every sunday so i am somewhat laid back nowadays and don't put it on others oh that's so sweet of you that's so nice Okay, that's awesome. I appreciate that. See, like, I don't mind people's beliefs, period. It's as soon as they start to get overbearing and rude and start to act like know-it-alls that I start to become um, aggravated. <laughs> um, like, I I've had people be like, oh, don't you know my way is the right way? And I'm like, dude, I don't even know my way is the right way. I have... I have a feeling my way is the right way because I would hate to believe that what I believe is wrong. Nobody likes to be wrong, but like, I will never say that my way is the right way. <laughs> and so that gets on my nerves. That, that peeves me to no end. Can you prove to me that, 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 that your belief is right? No, then shush. <laughs> Tell me about it, but shush. <laughs> Only thing I push on others for my faith is that, yes, please don't murder each other. Let's not do that. Lutherans are the ones that were Catholic and then said, fuck you to the Pope. <laughs> oh my God. I know that you are being dead serious, but just fuck you to the Pope. Hey, I can vibe with that. Che I cheers to that. Damn, I missed. Nice! Damn. No! Come on, come on out. It won't hurt, I promise. <laughs> wait, oh wait, it's Lutheranism as in like, I got Martin this Luther? new anime plot. <laughs> Basically, there's this high school girl, except she's got huge boobs. I mean, some serious haunters. Oh my God, A real Jay. set of really donkers. Pack in some Doban Honkeris, <laughs> massive Dobun Kaban Kolus, big old oh my God. Cougars. What happens next? Transfer student shows up with even bigger Bonkanaga hooves. Humongous Hongalam Hananalaukangas. <laughs> Jay, what the fuck? <laughs> we were just talking about Lutheranism and you just come in with that. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Um... 
Oh my god. He hung those lists on the church and was like, you are too controlling. <laughs> We had an end to write an essay on him. <laughs> I like what you think. God, Jay. Be Jay. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> You're getting too clippy for that. I have not called for burning cinema. Ah, no. <laughs> let's not. Let's let's not burn synagogues. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Why is it called an oven when you have in the cold food about hot eat the food? <sighs> Jay, Jay. Jay, Jay. Jay. Jay, do you need a lesson on linguistics? I can teach you why it's called an oven. Nice. I can teach you. I can I can I can lecture you on it uh during stream on Saturday. I can do it if you really really want to learn why it's called an oven and not an oven out. Thank you for the hydrate no. <laughs> and also thank you for the eat salt. I shall eat salt. Also take care of yourself. No, go rest. Thank you for popping in. You eater. You eater. Cause if hot earth the food before you cold the oven up the pulls the fun, you know. Grace, shut the fuck up. <laughs> don't show it. Uh, don't worry, I won't show it on stream. It'll just be sitting in a. Uh in uh jay's uh in jay's dms just eternally in his dms just just it'll be there and encouraged <laughs> you two are the worst <laughs> you two should not be comrades in this you two should be at each other's throats but you're not it's a problem um I find it so funny Martin Luther started the Protestant Reformation, but when it came to the UK and to Germany, it was like, okay, the king wants to push Catholic beliefs and his successor pushes Lutheranism. I love when rulers just undo the work of their predecessors just because it's so funny. <laughs> um, posture check, all good. Oh, I had to eat salt. I almost forgot. My brain's not here today. Mmm, salt. I hydrated. I stretched. I am uh, no longer shrimping. Um, listen. Chattanoobas, don't worry about it. <laughs> we don't need to get into my lore. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't. Don't worry about what I did when I was alive. You don't have to think about that, you know? It's okay. We don't need to know what part of Seti the First's reign I fucked up. We're good. We're Gucci, you know? It's all in the past now. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm stealing every arrow y'all have. All right, go. Walk away. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Why are you Why are you thanking me? I'm shocked they like okay. These cages are the frailest thing ever and these guys should be able to break out of them and yet they they don't? All right, we want to go this way. To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. The humor is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of theoretical physics, most of the jokes will go over a typical viewer's head. There's also Rick's nihilistic outlook, which is deftly woven into his characterization. His personal philosophy draws heavily from Narodnaya Volia literature, for instance. The fans understand this stuff. They have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depths of these jokes. I am of the opinion whoever orig Ooh, stars. Whoever originally wrote that copypasta did not actually watch Rick and Morty. <laughs> like, that's all. That's, that's like, I firmly believe whoever wrote that copypasta initially, I know it was from Reddit. I know for a fact it was from Reddit because I've, I've heard people have found the original post. Whoever wrote that original copypasta, I, I, am confident has never actually watched Rick and Morty. I rewatched Rick and Morty relatively recently, I would say like a, a year ago, year or two ago. I rewatched it and like it is it is not that deep. <laughs> like yeah, there are some deep cuts in there and some stuff that I as a person who moderately enjoys theoretical physics and nihilism and existentialism like enjoys contemplating such concepts like yeah there were a couple jokes where it was like okay yeah i could see how this might not like sink in fully for a person but they would still laugh at the joke because there's still some bare bones grasp of like <laughs> basic humor <laughs> it's not just theoretical physics joke so i firmly believe whoever whoever wrote that doesn't actually understand Rick and Morty. It is trash. It is, in fact, trash. Also, I would not eat Special K. <laughs> Special K is disgusting. <laughs> That's okay. We can all go to hell together. It's because they're delicious three grain flakes combined whole wheat barley and rice to deliver a crunchy and nourishing breakfast enriched with a blend of nine essential vitamins and miracles including vitamin D, B vitamin, vitamin C, zinc and iron. Special K has many of the nutrients you need to help you feel strong. I'm disappointed in you, Hope. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you, Hope. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> oh my god. And half of that shit isn't even true. <laughs> That's the worst part. <laughs> Did you know that the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV has a free trial, and includes the entirety of A Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heavensward expansion up to level 60 with no restrictions on playtime? Sign up and enjoy Eorzea today.
I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this is the Burger King ad all over again. You guys remember when that was happening? When uh, it was Burger King, they would tip $1 to streamers just to read a message out and it would be a fucking Burger King ad and they got taken for court for it. I can no longer <laughs> resist the pizza. I open the box and unzip my pants with my other hand. As I penetrate the gooey cheese, I moan in ecstasy. The mushrooms and Italian sausage are rough, but the sauce is deliciously soothing. I blow my loads in seconds. As you leave the bathroom, I exit through the front door. If you were a loved one who were uh, traumatized by that last message from Brioche, you may be entitled to financial compensation. And by that, I mean I'm flying to Australia and beating the shit out of Brioche. <laughs> that was so bad. Why the fuck would you send that in? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's a cooldown on the the TTS, <laughs> and it's not <laughs> and it's not working to stop anyone. <laughs> God. Sometimes when nobody is home, I like to strip naked, cover myself in Vaseline, and roll around my garden pretending I'm a slug. Do you think before you type? Is there is there a thought behind those eyes? Probably not. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, slug buddies. I don't. I don't want to know about you guys being slug buddies. Nice. Keep your keep your slug moments to yourselves. <laughs> Hi, my name is Russell and I am a wanker. I like to eat Vaseline on toast. I, what sucks is I actually knew somebody once who did like to eat Vaseline on their toast. Fuck girls in my Lightning McQueen bit. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop it, all of you. <laughs> the cooldown sure as hell stops me. <laughs> oh, uh, what? To be a proper snail? The only thought behind my eyes heart, I wonder if as. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Revelations would be a good guy to ask for advice when it comes to flirting with them. Probably not. Probably not. How are they not dead? I don't know. Leave the slug goo for all to eat. They just, I don't know. I don't know. Same reason why some people who drink gasoline aren't dead right now. Probably the same thing. Some people have a weird desire to eat stuff that shouldn't belong inside of them. It's very weird. I don't get it, but 
but some people are like that. And I mean, to each their own, I can't stop them. But I also don't want to be them. I can't. You can find your what? <laughs> Bria, <Brio>, stop. <laughs> I hate it here. I fucking hate it here. <laughs> If my girl and my Beyblades are both drowning and I could only save one you can catch me letting it rip at my girl's funeral cause it's Beyblade or catch a fade. <laughs> it's Beyblade catch a fucking fade. God. Beyblade or catch a fade. Jesus. I hate it here. <laughs> Dude, there's nobody else here. I can't get over Beyblade or catch a fade. God, that's so fucking funny. Oh no, it's not playing. It'll it'll play. Give it a second. Give it. A, it's loading. <laughs> Saw someone glue diamonds on a Beyblade. Who the fuck would do that? Not to a Beyblade. That's a perfectly good Beyblade. I ran out of points. Good. You, you deserve no points for that. All right, stretch. Uh, big stretch. <sighs> uh, eat salt. Oh, wait, no, not eat salt. Hydrate. That's what it was. Saving up for very... Which, <laughs> which one? <laughs> Um, old candy shop on TikTok that makes candy dedicated to recreating safe to eat versions of weird shit people want to eat, like edible cotton co candy concrete powder or an aquarium. I want the aquarium pebbles so bad. Um, damn, Chris got denied. Here, I'll do it. I'll, 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 I'll fix it. I'll fix it here. <laughs> yeah. Is it the is it the nine is the cool like uh nine hundred mil <laughs> the fitness cram TM All right here Grizz I'll, I'll help I'll The fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20 meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly, but gets faster each minute after you hear this signal. Beep. A single lap should be completed each time you hear this sound. Ding. Remember to run in a straight line and run as long as possible. The second time you fail to complete a lap before the sound, your test is. God, I hate, I hate the fit. Did you hear that some countries actually labeled the fitness grand pacer test as a crime against humanity? 
I hope shut up. <laughs> no! No! I don't want to think about Vaporeon in that way. Stop it. <laughs> oh. I, I hate the, although only if they are comfortable with it. Like, that magically makes the... <laughs> it's okay. Adelis, gather the treasures and abandon that camp. We'll set up another by the outlook nearby. That way we can keep a watchful eye on those who pass through. The five of us will take shifts, starting with you. If you see Ptolemies or members of the Rebellion or even another group of bandits, put the fire out at once. I don't feel like having to waste our blades on them. I see... <laughs> yes, hope kill Y'all are horrible. <laughs> All of you are terrible. All of you. <laughs> Every single one of you. Every single one of you is a villain. <laughs> All of you. All of you. <laughs> and then immediately an ad. I'm an agent. Are you? <laughs> are you though? <laughs> <laughs> or are you just a causer of pain and suffering? <laughs> are you chaos or are you just a delirium? This way. It it stops after a certain point. So not that bad. Cause inevitably it's gonna get caught off. What is this? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Give me until ads go away. Don't feel pressured to watch ads. <laughs> Brioche, why would you say that? <laughs> I get it. Boys are pretty great, but like, come on now. <laughs> Cobra layer. Oh, I'm going to have to kill a bunch of snakes. Eh. cute it is I'm so sad I'll spare you because I don't want to hurt you Welcome, pillagers. Thought yourself glad they were blinking into this place. May you find nothing but pain and death. No one steals from <laughs> the fuck. Greatest of all pain. The fuck. The fuck.
I'll leave the little snake baby alone. Though his family may be dead, he shall survive. Um. That was hope? Wait. Oh no, it was you! That's horrible. I'm gonna get points faster so I can post Hope's voicemail message. <laughs> yeah, you gotta sub, sorry. <laughs> Subs will continue to uh, raise your... Your, uh... Your point rate. But don't, don't do that. Unless you really want to, don't do that. You have to, like, get a higher tier sub. In order to do that. But don't, don't do that. <laughs> You are subbed, but higher tiers can get more points at once. No, no, no! <laughs> Saturday is going to be the most cursed stream. <laughs> that either of us have ever done. I don't have a reputation anymore. I now have a pit. <laughs> According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to too get small its fat to little, its body, off little body off the ground. Off the, ground. The, bee, <laughs> the bee, of course, flies anyway flies because anyway, bees don't because care bees what don't humans, care what think, humans is think is impossible. Yellow, black. Yellow. Black, yellow, yellow, black, 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 Ooh, black, yellow. black and yellow. Let's shake it up Let's a little. Let's shake it up a little. Berry, Berry. Breakfast, breakfast is ready. Is ready. Hang Umi. on a second. Umi. Hello, <laughs> Barry, Adam, will you believe this is happening? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you smashing? <laughs> I gave <laughs> let me smash, let me smash. I gave Becky some blue the bird, the blue bird video. <laughs> I love that I love that video so much. Jay, I am shocked that's not a sound redeem on your channel. I am so surprised. Becky, let me smash. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> You're going to add it right now? Do it. I gave that bitch a stick. <laughs> Such a good video. <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen that video, please go look at it. It's so good. Um, interact so that we may never again suffer the floods that brought the famine. The merchant Hanu has placed his grain sacks here. It is enough to make 100 loaves of 20 pefsu bread or 10 jugs of 4 pefsu malt date beer. Oh, that's good. Staying prepared. Through the vitamite good. <laughs> What's up with the dollar signs? <laughs> <laughs> I 
you're a mess today, Jay. <laughs> Jay, you're not even streaming right now, and yet you're scuffed as all fuck right now. <laughs> Jay can't escape the scuff. He is the scuff. <laughs> <laughs> Jay is scuff incarnate. Jay is the god of scuff. That is my belief now. <laughs> I'll hail the god of scuff. <gasps> oh, man. Oh. Nice. I can't make it through this way. The <laughs> Got of stuff. <laughs> it is very vague, um, but that's not what I said. I said you're the god of scuff. S C U F F. Scuff. Is that the rock? That's a skull. That ain't a rock. <laughs> <laughs> God, this stream, I'm gonna have to bookmark for my TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Damn, there's nothing behind that wall. All right. Listen, I know what I read. <laughs> Stop! I'm monopolizing the chat with my deranged answer. Hey, don't, don't, don't worry about it. It's engaging. It's funny. People are hopping in on it. Don't even worry about it. You're good. I don't care if people like talk a lot in chat. You. Oh well, I just lit up snake on fire. I didn't want to do it. But I had no choice. The snake bit me. And that makes me sad because I like the snake. We go deeper into the void. If he hated people, if <laughs> cheated people, monopolized the chat, I would have banned, been banned. Yeah, yeah, I like when people, I don't mind when people monopolize chat. I don't see the, the reason for getting upset about it. I know some streamers do. I am not one of them. I am not one of those streamers. I'm like, hey, say what you want to say. Uh, but if, uh, if chat gets too fast, I might miss it, and that's all I ask. That you respect the fact that sometimes I don't respond because either it's out of date information, or chat's already moved on, or it interrupt the flow, and that's all I ask. <laughs> My cat is playing with cat toys. Those captions aren't showing scuff. <laughs> yeah, they aren't. Oh, they almost did! They almost did! <laughs> <laughs> they got so close and then they stopped. Tried to backspace and it sent instead.
Seems like everybody is afflicted with the scuff, but I am less afflicted by the scuff, I say. And watch as my stream just crashes after I say that. And his Radiance tasked Imhotep to build him a home for the afterlife and Imhotep? Im Imhotep? 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 God <laughs> said it shall represent your splendor and endure the ages as a reminder of your greatness. He took 20,000 men to this place and said, Toth, send me a vision, and here we shall build a mastaba greater than all other mastabas. And the people said, we offer everything you need to honor our great father. Toth is a cool god. I like Toth. He's fun. He's silly. The reason, the legend for why we have moon phases is that Toth tricked Konsu, the god of the moon, to gamble and then won and got all of his light from him. And I just think that's silly. Why are there blankets here? <laughs> then his majesty, the king of upper and lower Egypt, Khufu said, let an offering be made of a thousand loaves of bread, a hundred jars of beer, one ox and two balls of incense to the king of upper and lower Egypt, Joser justified and let there be given one cake one jug of beer a large portion of meat and one ball of incense to the chief lector priest as i have seen an example of his learning uh second you are pulling me to the side can i help you ma'am you're stuck on my shirt hey can, retreat your claws thank you you got stuck on me come here second come here Oh. Okay, come here, come here. Oh my goodness. You're all over the place today. What? What are you doing? Hey, come here. Oh. Oh, you're so chunky. Okay, chill out. Chill. Hey, ma'am. Ma'am. Why are you being a brat? Hmm? Why are you being a brat? Why are you being a brat? Huh, second? Why are you being a brat? No. Look at me. Why are you being a brat? Hmm? You gonna tell me why you're being a brat? You just feel like bratty behavior is it today? Is that how you feel? Yeah, I'll give you a good scratch. Oh, yeah. Wanna say hi to chat? Wanna say hi to chat? Say hello. Say hi. Can can you give us a little meow? Can you give us a little meow? Just a little itty bitty one, please. Just a tiny one. Just a tiny meow. Just for, just for proof's sake that you are here with me, please. Just a little meow. Oh, just 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 say hi. Just say hi. Why are you making that face? <laughs> Why are you making <laughs> Why are your eyes so big? <laughs> Come on, say hi. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Go say hi. What? Oh, no, don't pull the mic. Hey, hey, hey. Mwah. Can you have a kiss? Can you have a kiss? Mwah. <laughs> Did she bring her ball? Well, I'm not throwing it. <laughs> Second is stinky, but I love her. <laughs> Welcome back, Brioche. You came back at the right time. <laughs> You came back at the proper time to hear me talking about my cat. <laughs> hey, look, 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 look. 
Look, most people know one thing about comedic culture. You ready? And that is we love our cats. <laughs> so let that be a lesson to everybody of how much people from Comet love their cats. <laughs> I am no exception. My the cats rule this house. I do not. It is them. An anti-depression breakfast? What's that? I don't know what that is. That sounds good, though. I want to know about anti-depression breakfast. Son of Horus, ruler of all, representative of the gods, builder of temples and culture, beloved of beloved father of our people, Joser. Hmm. Oh, I have three ability points. Uh, Bowell in midair. Or... Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> Chain assassinations! That's my favorite. <laughs> People can now redeem... <laughs> For, for <laughs> to ask Becky if, I, if she wants some fuck. <laughs> God, that's so good. That is so good. I live for that. Oh man, that's amazing, Jay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I love that. I'm gonna go in there. Is there another entrance into this building? I gave that bitch a stick. Bitches love sticks! <laughs> oh man, bitches do love sticks. I have frozen puff pastry sheets. Ooh, on hand almost always. It's a puff pastry sheet. I've cut in half. One side has cheese, mushrooms, and onions. They're great for iron. Uh, salt, pepper, and the other half gets butter, sugar, and cinnamon egg wash, which you give the rest to the cats and then cook for 22 minutes. That sounds delicious. I've never had. That sounds amazing. 
I want. Share. <laughs> share, god damn it. <laughs> How rude of you not to share. A crime. A crime! No, but seriously, that sounds really good. I'm envious. I'm jealous. Maybe over there? Um... If y'all can get to Sydney, I'll feed you. Bet. <laughs> Bring me stuff! I wish I could cook for everyone. I'm not great, but I love to do it for my friends. Aw, that's sweet. That gives good energy. I'm in the same boat. I'm not the best cook, but I love cooking for people. Because I feel like cooking shows, like, your emotions towards somebody. How much effort you're willing to put towards them. Um... Don't test. <laughs> I've always wanted to visit Australia. <laughs> and the only thing holding me back are the spiders. And how many venomous animals are living there. Like, holy shit, how do you deal? I love animals, just like the next person. But, like, mm -mm, the venomous ones are scary. I, I worry about the venomous ones. Just give me a heads up, I need to go. Even so, even if you still live in a city. Like, I, I hear there's a, a season for you guys that's just spider season. Where, like, literally all the trees are just covered in webs. <laughs> that's terrifying. <laughs> And that the kids will just be walking to school and spiders will drop down on them and they'll be like, all right, that's fine, I guess. And just swat them off and don't care. <laughs> I feel bad for anyone who has arachnophobia in your country. <laughs> that's not here. <laughs> Road trip? Who said road trip? <laughs> Chris! Road trip across the ocean. <laughs> it's just us. You don't gotta clean shit. This is true. I don't care. If you could see my home, you would notice it is a mess. <laughs> You gotta go get your submarine ready? All right, take care, Jay. Submarine? <laughs> huh? <laughs> take care, Jay. See you either tomorrow or Saturday. If you pop in tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow. If you don't, I'll see you on Saturday. I feel like I'm missing something. Hmm. We get magpie swooping in spring sometimes. If you dive, spiders can hide in the engine. Oh! But I have lived here one year and seen one spider and it was tiny and outside. I live in the city and animals really don't like humans here, so they keep to themselves. It's just birds. I'm missing loads of animals like I did in New York. Honestly, one in more danger. Ah! <laughs> uh, what? My cats have zoomies. That is the hot take of the day. My cats have zoomies. Um, 
No, well, that's good at least. Uh, I'd still be terrified anytime I saw a spider of any capacity. I'd be like, oh, no. <laughs> I'd freak. Hey. Stay over there. Oh my god, second. Chill. Ah! Okay, you're in the way. You're hooded up and everything. Come on, I couldn't... I couldn't get around that. No. You want something? What? You want something for medicine? Um, I mean, I had pistachios. I don't know. Uh. I don't know. That's. Um. Uh. <laughs> maybe. Pistachios are for my <laughs> I don't think chat knows whether or not pistachios is enough to prevent internal bleeding. <laughs> well, stream is gonna be over in like thirty minutes if you if you want to just prep it, and I'll just eat and drink afterwards. <laughs> I shall clean my guest bathroom. If you ever come visit, I would die. It would be so fun once I have a car. Please do come visit. You'll have three people to protect you from spiders, which there will be probably none. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> that sounds lovely. I do want to visit Australia, though. I think that would be a really fun time as a whole. I just like the idea of going out and visiting different places. I just want to see the world. You know what I mean? All right, we're going to teleport out because I don't... I don't feel like climbing out all over again. And we're gonna explore a couple more spots and then I'll call it a stream, I think. Oh, big stretch. Um, who's live? I might as well get an idea of who I'm reading. Um. Strange is live. I think I'll send you guys over to Strange. Crow is also live, so if Strange isn't live by the time I'm done, I'll send you guys over to Crow. Because Crow is pretty cool. Um, but for now, I will keep going with this. Because I want to get a bit more of exploration done. I never get much done, it feels like, when I play this game for a stream. It always feels like I'm like <laughs> I'm I'm always so preoccupied doing literally anything else but the actual like game, the plot of the game. It's honestly been a wonderful time hanging with you too, Brioche. I I've loved when you've come to my streams and when we've chatted in DMs. It's been a really cool time. Um and also, Fast Hunter, take care of yourself. Go get some rest. Go get some sleep. Go go rest up. Thank you for stopping by. Um, and yes, Dottie, thank you for the follow, by the way. Um, this is set in ancient Egypt. However, ancient Egypt as a nation uh, lasted as a whole for 3,000 years. So keep that in mind. Like... In the year, it right now, we are closer to, in years, to um, the end and the fall of the uh, Kemetic uh, Empire than the people who were there at the fall of the Kemetic Empire were to the beginning of it. So, yeah. <laughs> It is, uh, it is, it is actually very old. <laughs> so if you didn't know, uh, Kemet, ancient Egypt, started in about 3000 BCE, uh, and then it ended at about 50 CE. So, yeah.
So I would say this game is set in about, I would think, 25 to 50 CE because it's during Cleopatra and she was the last reigning pharaoh, if you could even really call her a pharaoh. Um, so these tombs are about like, uh, if I had to estimate like 2000 years old. They're old. They're like a thousand to two thousand years old. They're not. They're not young by any means. <laughs> I legit am getting a pullout couch for company. You wouldn't even need a hotel. Oh, yeah, pullout couch. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, right now it makes sense. I thought this game was set like no. This game is set at like fifty C, give or take. <laughs> good. Good. Good question, though. I can vibe with that. That's a fair thing to ask. And I got to gush about uh, ancient history, which I love doing a lot. Um, I love talking about ancient history. Yes, you may have pistachio. God, these guys are dying. Although, I will say, I don't know if the tombs would be filled with spider webs. I mean, some of them have some pretty obvious open entrances, but for those that like need more grit to get through, I don't know if spiders would take up residency. That's all. Um, I hope my brother can visit so I can show him all of my cool dinosaur shit. Oh shit, dinosaur shit? Hey yo, my other special interest. <laughs> dinosaur shit? <laughs> I'm a dinosaur in ancient Egypt uh, autistic person. That that's 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 those are my special interests. Huh. What are... That guy just keeps shooting the dead body. Damn. There we go. God. That was an, a bugged out NPC. No questions asked on that one. That was one buggy NPC. Nice. Nice. I think they're gone. I don't see anyone else. Nice. Um. 
Oh, there they are. Oh yeah, I know spiders can get through some pretty tight cracks. I've seen spiders in my car, and then they've left my car, and I've watched them leave my car. What? The door closed! So yeah, I, I know spiders are pretty fucking crazy. I just don't know if they would take up residency down uh, underneath the pyramid, because there's not a lot of food down there. Um, and I don't think Egyptian spiders prey on scarab beetles, because I think actually it's the reverse, and scarab beetles prey on spiders, if I remember correctly. If I am remembering properly. Pretty sure scarab beetles eat spiders. Um, and then turn them into dung to roll their babies in. Because scarabs are fucking weird. <laughs> um, so much dinosaur shit to see there. Oh, I want to see it. <laughs> it's like fossil places. I... I'm sure you've been to a fossil park. I've been to one. They're so cool. They're so neat. I love them. Oh god. <laughs> the circle impact. That's what this feels like. I missed! Do you hear this music? It's so good. Lovely. Killed and hung this bait, do all bandits lack such respect for the dead? Oof. Um. I'm actually not sure if Odyssey is set before Origin, because Greece lasted. Greece and Rome lasted a lot longer than. Comet. Um. So I actually don't know what year Odyssey is set. Um, I don't remember. I haven't played Odyssey yet, so I can't- I can't attest to that. Parents told me that dinosaurs were for girls as a kid, not a girl, but also fuck that! I have the freedom to look at dinosaurs! <laughs> Think they're cool as shit! No, dinosaurs are for all ages! Dinosaurs are for all ages, all genders! Dinosaurs are- are, are rated for E for everyone! Except when they're not. Nice. Only cool people like dinos. Facts. What's your favorite dinosaur? Mine's a plesiosaur. I actually have a uh, felt plesiosaur on my table. And I plan on recreating it as a live 2D asset. And I've been actually looking for the person I bought it from on Etsy for the longest time because everybody who's seen my little plesiosaur is like, Ramses, where did you get that plesiosaur? And I've tried to show them and I can't find that seller again. <laughs> and it makes me so sad. <laughs> also, I would love to get, I have a blue one. I would love to get like a, a light green, like green blue one to go with him. His name is Scuttles. And I love him. <laughs> because Australia is so technologically act inact in inactive, it's a really good place to find intact fossils. Land here has existed for millions of years unchanged. The rocks are old, makes it perfect for Ooh, that's so cool! I love that. If this is Cleopatra, then Odyssey is the Greek golden era is before Cleo. I think so. I'll have to look into it. I'm sure it says, because they say the the year in this one, too. 
but I, I don't remember it. I, you know, remember. I wasn't making up a dinner. Um, the Velociraptor is such a good pick. The Velociraptor is great. A lovely dino. Also, very feathery dino. Velociraptors are super feathery. Um, inventory. No. Inventory, yeah. Right? No. Gear. That's where we want to go. Um. Okay, cool. Turkey, they are turkey babies. Uh, I turned on the tab to run water for something and second climbed on your shower chair to watch. <laughs> Aww. Second is so good. Oh, uh, this is just an abandoned camp, isn't it? I could probably loot it for supplies. Climb up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, they don't have bows here, unfortunate, like arrows and stuff. Unfortunate that has been taken already. Ah, how sad. Okay, tragic. Uh, Parasaurolophus is my fave. I, yes, I can't pronounce it right right now, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Great dino. Your dino picks are amazing. Immaculate choices, perfection, absolute no complaints. Dinos are amazing. Dinos are the best. We need more dino stuff. Period. Full stop. Dinos and dragons. We need more of both. <laughs> Reptiles. We need more of both. <laughs> Even though dinos are technically closer to birds than they are really reptiles, but that's beside the point. It's really cool. I, I like hearing about the, the breakthrough theories, like um, the fact that some dinos might have been exothermic and then others have been endothermic and some are uh, ambithermic, which means they can switch between endo and exothermic, which is so fucking cool to me. Um, and then there's some dinos who are like warm blooded, which means they're not hot blooded like mammals. Or cold-blooded, like, reptiles. They're warm-blooded, which means they can regulate their temperature slightly, but, like, not completely. And that's really fucking cool. Like, there's some really neat, neat dino things. Reptiles! Yes, reptiles! My ball python is my baby. That's all I'm gonna say. I love him to death. And I love that he escapes anytime he's hungry. <laughs> he's learned to open his enclosure, and I don't know what to do about it. I fucking love bones. I have a medical oddity. Yes! Bones are also really cool. I, uh, they're not my special interest. I just like them. Nitria. I just think bones are neat. It's- oh, it's this place! Oh. 
named Nitria because of the Nitron. I would find. Quest. You are either very brave or very foolish, setting foot back here. Nefertaris, isn't it? A thousand blessings are long overdue. <laughs> oh. That was Rojek's wife. Did you expect anything less? This way, Bayek. And bring along your thousand blessings. You will need them. Damn, what happened there? But it had to be done. Oh, it's the guy that we killed at the beginning. Alright, well, I'll go fuck with that later. Um Oh, I guess I'm doing it now. Well, better than the last time I found you. Are you just better? Killing now? Rujek was only the beginning. Yes, your hunt. The heron. Where are you taking me? To make amends with Anubis. Amends? I do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> of course. How could you? You left the moment you woke. You know all the natron for Egypt is collected here. We send it mostly to Memphis to cover the bodies of the dead. Well, I'm turning around then. I got shit I have to do. Does it require my attention though? All right, take care, Brioche. And I will, I promise. I won't forget this time. I've got people hounding me now. Uh, sell unnecessary goods. Oh, Jesus. I'm actually going to go buy a horse. Yay! More mounts! Um, where is the blacksmith? I actually don't think this town has a blacksmith. Oh, cool. Um, all right, so we got about 10 minutes. I don't want to start something that we can't finish. So I think I'm going to call it for today. Um... But, thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. Let's see who's online real quick. Is Strange... Nope, Strange. Strange checked out. Damn it. Alright, that's fine. I think I'll send you guys over to Cuppy. I haven't raided Cuppy in a hot minute. Um, so... Alright. So thank you guys so much for coming to the stream today. It truly does mean the world and underworld to me. You guys are awesome. Absolute sweethearts. Every single one of you. It was a wonderful time hanging out with you guys. And I'm so grateful that you guys chose to spend your uh, Thursday with me. Um, go send Cuppy your love and uh, be nice to him. He's really cool. Uh, and I'll see you guys here tomorrow for hyperlight drifter so yeah take care of yourselves my shop take care of each other and i'll see you next time sun up team